You're not going to eat my fridge, Kobana. Why are you eating my fridge? <laughs> Get away from my fridge. Right, I know. Anyway, uh, hi, Kobanon. Hello, Randall. Oof. How's it going? Alright. Uh, let me get the game up. Actually, hold on. Let me check something real quick first. Someone I want to check. Okay, so what, 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 what I'm checking here is, um,. I wanted to check to uh, see what DLCs I should do because I forgot I had the I have the DM from the Discord message from uh, Gwen. <laughs> I'm gonna pour that metal fridge when we hit itself. <laughs> so I was, I was just checking to see what what ones are there. Uh, okay, should probably move Discord on the other screen and not behind Fallout. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a good idea, wouldn't it? I recommend, recommend to play Old World Blues. To play that first, or... I'm gonna do them all anyway. You know, I'm gonna do them all anyway, so... So I just, I, I just want to know which one I should do first. Wait a minute. <laughs> oh, oh, wait a minute. Hold up. Wait, this is this is the ending. <laughs> this is the wrong sieve. There we go. Let's get to the correct part of the game. <laughs> there we go. I'm not. No, no. No, no. We're not. We're not doing Hoover Dam yet. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we, we can't just skip to the ending there. It's not right. We did all that. I don't want to get my eyes blinded again. <laughs> Cry out loud. So anyway, you said Gwen recommends Old World Blues. I... Do not know where that one is. <laughs> to to be completely honest with you, I might have to check Gwen's uh, message. <laughs> no way, no gambling yet. <laughs> actually, right off the entire time we played this game, we haven't actually done any gambling <laughs> besides playing on slot machines. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Right, hold on here. Uh, what's right? So what what Gwen has here in the in the Discord message is the order the DLCs are in. So, so she says here in order they are Honest Arts, uh, Old World Blues, Dead Money, and Lonesome Road. So I don't know if that's the order it's best to play it in, or someone I don't know. Uh, but we could. Gamble all your caps and my life is yours. That it? <laughs> oh, is that it? That it? My, your life? I don't know if I want that. I'm <laughs> kidding, obviously. <laughs> or am I? Am I kidding? Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Uh, well, I suppose we could do Old World Blues, I guess. Uh, Old World Blues is accessible through a crashed satellite at a random drive-in. Like if you interact with the satellite, there's a pop-up that should, that should be easy to avoid as well. Okay. I say easy to avoid. Right, we ain't avoiding it. Why is OBS on the other screen now? Why are you doing this to me? You were on the other... <laughs> I put you on one screen, now you're in the other. Don't move. That's the second time I've done that now. Hold on. There we go. Alright. So a, a drive-in... That's what she said for old, old world blues. Where is that? Uh, 
Uh, is that any of these? Oh, here we go. Midnight Science Fiction Feature. Investigate the midnight showing at the Mojave Drive-In. Which is down here. Right across from Nupton. Hmm. I wonder how that guy is doing in Nupton. We were here for a second and there was already violence. Yo, where's your shirt? Why does your outfit keep changing every time I see you? What is it this time? Oh, I took care of that slave caravan. You know what I'd be real excited about? If you'd showed up and saved me before they smashed my legs. Now, why don't you fuck off and let me sleep, hero? That'll be real exciting too. Bye. Nope, not that one. Nope, not that one. Sure. I'm a good guy. Ah, crap. <laughs> ah, anyway, I don't know what happened there. <laughs> Mine kind of blanked out there. Anyway, uh... Also, you would play Old World Blues because you're old. It makes sense. Well, for that comment alone, I'm not doing Old World Blues. <laughs> Alright, what was the other one, Gwen? <laughs> Honest Arts? Sure. There's a quest to join Lucky Trails Caravan. Yeah, what? we'll do that. <laughs> so the more time we see that dude, the more naked he is. I know, right? He, he had like full body armor. And, uh, yeah, full, full body armor for a nice, like, no shirt on. Actually, no, that's not close. This one's probably closer. <laughs> oh, hello, Raul. <laughs> right, where am I going here? This way. You know, I never really did bother with the crafting in this game, did I? <laughs> I usually don't. <laughs> Even with, like, Skyrim. Uh, not... Does Oblivion have smithing? I don't think it does. Skyrim does, but... Uh... For, like, Skyrim, I never really did a whole lot of, like, crafting in that either. I think the most crafting I've ever done outside of Minecraft, obviously, hardy, hardy, horror. Uh, is uh, probably the synthesis in Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> Which, by the way, I've been doing that lately on the on the, the PC version on my Steam Deck. I've just been doing the synthesis to get the Ultima weapon. It is so tedious. I forgot how tedious it is to do that. The what in, in cage? Synthesis. Um, uh, you've, you've, it's in Traverse Town. If you've ever visited the accessory shop and there's like a green trinity on the ground, that's how you access it. Because then it gets like a ladder. Uh, I assume this is the door can open. No. Oh, it's not the place. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, there. It's it, it's above the accessory shop where you first meet Sid. I think when you first visit Traverse Town, there's like a guy blocking the door if you go around the back. But, uh, yeah, eventually, once you get Green Sin- the Green Sin- that's what it's, uh, um, Green Trinity, you can access it. And it's through there is how you get the ultimate weapon. Oh, I don't have a weapon equipped. Oh, my weapons are so different from- <laughs> from the end of the game. Oh, hi, Raul. I'm sorry, are you one of them? Okay. Hi. Howdy, friend. Howdy. Heard my little broadcast, did you? Nope. Yeah. <laughs> you look the type. I haven't used the radio outside of that one VOD. I recognize you. 
Yeah. You're Alice McLafferty's rising star, ain't you? Who? You sure Who's you that again? I've forgotten. McLafferty's non-competes are pretty rigid. I've forgotten. Who's Alice again? <laughs> Actually, I've forgotten. Uh, well, anyway, tell me more about the job. The job is simple. Help us get this caravan in design and find new Canaan. The pay is 25 caps per day. Half up front, half on return. You'll get a bonus if we make it in design. Plus another bonus if we reach New Canaan. Oh, uh, one more thing. Don't mention the name Joshua Graham to anyone. Anyone. Okay. <laughs> Who's Joshua Graham and why shouldn't I talk about him? Just don't. It makes the New Canaanites powerful uncomfortable. And it scares the britches off the tribals. Don't talk about the burn man either while you're at it. Trust me on this one. It's for your own good. Okay. Uh, what about the Happy Trails Caravan Company? What are you can tell We're me about a that? company out of Sacktown, up Sack in the northern part of the NCR. We run some business through New Reno. They're on the Little Loop. Had a nice run to Salt Lake City too, but uh, then we lost contact with New Canaan, and that went all to hell. Oh, my bars are so close. Uh, why can't you get into Salt Lake City? Without New Canaan's mission in Zion, the only ways to Salt Lake City are down the old I-80, or up through Ogden. The highway is too risky. NCR's rangers are so busy here in the Mojave, they don't have the manpower to keep the raiders off. Ogden's just too far. We'd lose more in travel expenses than we'd ever earn. Okay, what can you tell me about the, the new cannon? Don't know much about the place, but I can tell you about the, about the place, New Canaan. The New Canaanites were some kind of religious group from before the war. They control the old city of Ogden, a ways north of Zion, and they got themselves a nice defensible mission in the canyon itself. Or they did. They trade a fair bit with the tribes in Zion. Well, the ones that don't try to kill them anyways. Hmm. Do you know anything about their religion? I ain't a praying man myself. They paid for their goods and... Is anyone a praying man left in freaking wasteland? About. But don't think that just because they're religious, that they're pacifists. They take care of their own. And they're damn fine marksmen, too. Also, I just, I just noticed this. So, you guys are totally rich, right? <laughs> uh, you, d you don't know what happened to their mission? Nope. Hence this caravan. If we don't make contact with the new Canaanites, Happy Trails might as well just shrivel up and die. Oh, I'm in the Little Mermaid world right now? Oh, I feel so sorry for you. <laughs> My condolences. <laughs> Shoot. Shoot? No, don't you tell me twice. Why? The, the Little Mermaid world is just not that fun. With the whole swimming and all. Um... And also, a lot of your abilities don't work in Atlantica. So if you have, like, Sonic Blade, Strike Raid, Ragnarok, Ars Arcanum, uh, I forget the other one, begins with Z, um, none of those work. Like, at all. Like, your finishing combo abilities? Yeah, they don't work either. So a lot of your abilities are just unusable. So it's, like a, it's not a skill issue. It's literally part of the game you can't use them <laughs> the game doesn't let you because you don't have legs <laughs> it's not a skill issue it's a game issue <laughs> that's why a lot of people don't like it plus the boss is not eh. i'm built different what what weapon did you pick at the start out of curiosity. Because <laughs> I, I actually forgot to ask that. But what, but what weapon did you pick at the start? I don't know if this is Zion. What can you tell me about the area? I haven't been through Utah recently. What's the situation like? Carvin? <laughs> the sword? Oh, you chose the dream sword. That means you got more attack. Your, your attack went, became like your higher stat. 
and you get attacking abilities, I think, first before like you, you get some of the other ones. I think that's how it works. Usually I choose the shield because I, I want Leaf Bracer as an ability because Leaf Bracer is like, <laughs> it, we'll save you <laughs> from, from lots of fights if you haven't already got it. Uh, I understand this carbon and design. What can you tell me about the area? Well, I ain't never been inside myself. Did some trading with the new Canaanites from their mission there, but that was all on the outskirts. All the old ways in and out were destroyed after the war, but we got ourselves the location of a pass the new Canaanites use. That's our way in. That's why I wanted someone with a pit boy on the caravan. The oh. map would be helpful for checking the topography, keeping us on the trail. Also, I have a story to admit. <laughs> okay. Well, <laughs> what's the story you, you're you admitting to? <laughs> uh, I haven't been through Utah recently. What's the situation like? You know, I've just been shot in the face, you know. Just never got right, right into seeing Utah. <laughs> well, it ain't good. I'll tell you that. It's not like the Mojave or the NCR. Hell, even Arizona under Caesar is safer. You got raiders all over the damn is place. It? Tribes of degenerates that'll eat you as soon as look at you. Regional warlords, the works. Not too many Utah's having it rough. to stop and trade. New Canaan's one of the only ones left I know about. Uh, degenerate tribes? That's right. The folks that lived in Zion before the war, they didn't just get a little savage. They're downright feral. Most of them don't even speak English anymore. You've got to get yourself Ooh. a new Canaanite translator to talk to them. A translator? The ones you really got to watch out for are the White Legs from the Great Salt Lake. They'll attack just about anyone that ain't one of theirs. Hmm. When I did the second to last boss, I literally took one hour to finish the fight only to realize I, I needed to beat up the cauldron. Because then her health didn't go down for a while. Oh... Oh yeah, the the your first fight against Ursula with the cauldron. Yeah, that that fight that fight's a bit weird because you you need to like use magic on the cauldron. In fact, if you talk to Triton, you know Ariel's dad, he tells you to do that. He actually tells you you need to use magic on the cauldron. That's like your only hint, <laughs> other than being able to target the cauldron. <laughs> Yeah, that, that fight's weird. The fight after it is tricky at times, but if you equip like an, a a thunder resistant accessory, you you should be fine for the most part. If you do get hit, so yeah, mostly by the electric attacks, obviously. Uh, tell me about the raiders. They're about what you'd expect: crazy, jacked up on cams, violent as hell, and. Not too bright. The worst of the 80s. But we won't be passing through their turf on this run. I thought it was just him saying that to be dramatic. Surprisingly, no. <laughs> uh, Warlords, how dangerous are they? Dangerous enough we won't be going near them if we can help it. I got no desire for my head to decorate some little gas station for its walls, thanks. Hmm. I've got other questions. Uh, we're ready to go? I bet you are. But we only got room for one more on this expedition. You'll have to leave your friends behind. No! What? I have to leave my friends? No! Fine. Yeah. Reckon you will. Alright, hold on. Give me a sec then. I gotta leave Raul and Rex. Ah, crap. <laughs> I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to put them somewhere. Hold on. Where would where would be a good place to keep them sitting? Pr probably. You're yeah, probably at the the north gate here. And I mean, like, probably just tell him to wait. Okay, boss. Can't do that. There you go, Rex. You sit there. Though one of you guys had 
Uh, was it you, Ryan? I'm sure you'll be fair and equitable, boss. There's a shotgun that I was using during the ending that I would like to grab. <laughs> I think Rex probably has it now. No, not that one. Oh, what was it? It was a shotgun. I'm pretty sure. Did I have one? No, no, nope. That's not it. Nope, nope. Maybe I don't have it. I, I thought it was in his it was in his inventory. I check Raoul again. I expect to be awed by your dizzy mercantile sense, boss. Not the it's not the caravan shotgun. It's not the single shotgun. I don't have it. Eh, oh well. Gotta leave you two here. What is this? Okay, hit you must leave your friends. Gotta leave them friends behind. Oh, there's a grave here. Oh, still don't have a shovel. I, <laughs> I never did pick up a shovel at the start of the game, did I? Alright. Are you here to jar at me a while longer? Or are we ready to get this show on the road? Wait a minute, I re You sure you We've- we've been through this. <laughs> Alright, I'm ready. I bet you are. But we only got room for- Oh, is it because I've only told them to wait? Yeah. Oh, I ha I actually have to- Tell them to- to leave? Fuck, I was kinda hoping not to do that. Cause that means I have to go back to wherever- Wherever they're- Brought to- hell. Oh. There you guys are. Right. Raul. I'm sorry, but, uh, uh, I need, I need to talk to you. I can't believe we were allowed inside the Lucky 38. I don't know, right? Fascinating. Anyway, uh, I, I need, I need to head on without you. <laughs> Good call. I mean, if that's what you really want, boss. You don't sound too excited. Ooh, it is. We'll meet, we'll meet up at the Lucky 38. I think it's for the rest. Uh, we'll meet up at the Lucky 38. Hey, as long as you're not asking me to go back to Black Mountain, I'm a happy old man. He's gone to the Lucky 38. Okay. Can, can I bring my animal companion with me? I'll see if I can do that first. If not, then I'll have to tell Rex to go away. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just not, I'm just not a man. A lot of people aren't a fan of Atlantica. In fact, in KH2, it's, it's not a proper world anymore. Uh, <laughs> they, they made it into like a rhythm game world. Sort of a rhythm game, I guess. But I think you get a useful magic uh, out of that world. I can't remember though, it's been a very long time since I've played KH2. Make sure you see it before we're making it design. Oh, good call. Yeah. Here, I'll see if now. Do, do, do. Yeah, we can see it over this one. There we go. Are you here to jar at me a while longer? Oh, we're anyway, going to get this <laughs> Wait. All right, we're both set. I bet you are. Oh my god. Only got room for one more on this exp Can't even bring the dog. Yeah. Alright. Tyrex, we gotta go. <laughs> go to the lucky 38. Our guide is here. <laughs> Finally, <laughs> the game. Uh, our game fax is here. <laughs> Are we ready to get this show on the road? Wait a minute, I recognize you. Yeah. If, if you accidentally shoot one guy, that's that's easy to shoot. It makes the entire valley hostile and ruins the DLC. Wait, what the hell? Oh, I would need to be careful about that. <laughs> so I actually need to need to finish a thing for work 
but need to make sure keep course saved. <laughs> okay, you don't want me to. You don't. You don't want me to uh, relive the mistakes you made, I guess. <laughs> I bet you are, but you ain't going nowhere loaded down like a pack brahmin. What? Now what? <laughs> Weight limit. Weight limit. <laughs> Joking me with us? Oh my god, alright. <laughs> Why the weight limit? You ain't never been to Zion, have you? We'll be passing through a whole mess of narrow slot canyons and high rough passes. A big pack will get you wedged in like a super mutant crawling through a storm drain. And too much weight will kill you in the thin air. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Alright, hold on, I'll be back. <laughs> For crying out loud. Ugh, I have to go, I have to go back. Uh, I think there's a room in this strip, right? I saved before, that should be fine. <laughs> go, go, go back to Lucky 38. <laughs> I think there's like a room in there I can, I can, I can put stuff into. So you're just going to say, you must be this tall to go in. <laughs> You know, I wouldn't be surprised. I would not be surprised. <laughs> bet you the next thing he's gonna say is, oh, I bet you are, but uh, you're a little too short to go on this journey. You gotta be yay high to travel with us. <laughs> uh, where was it? The presidential suite? I think that's where it was at. Yeah, over here. What can I store them in? The wardrobe. <laughs> I can store it all in the wardrobe. Right, so 75 is what I have to drop it down to? Oh, okay. Right. Uh, Benny Sue. This, 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 that. Yep, that too. Sure, the radiation suit. My space helmet. Oh, you can put helmets in there and the white glove society stuff. The sunglasses don't weigh anything. Oh, we're gonna be here a while. <laughs> I don't need all this venom. Put that in there. Yeah, keep the anti venom just in case. 75. <laughs> oh my god, I have to. It was 75. Weird. I can put the magazines in, I suppose. The ones I don't need. Like, I don't need Programmer's Digest. I have, like, Max Science anyway. Right? I have Max Science. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Max Science. I don't need. I don't need that magazine. Drop that. Drop the whiskey. The uh, the omelet. I'll, I'll store. I'll store my omelet in there <laughs> for the time being. Oh shit! Oh, I should probably put away my sarsaparilla. I don't want to though. <laughs> that in stew I never use the rebinds anywhere uh, oh that doesn't even weigh anything I put them in there anyway uh, yeah put that in there put all the nuclear colas in there yeah I what do you mean okay oh, pressed a to take all crap I didn't mean to do that after <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> uh, the, the glasses don't weigh anything. Right. Anyway, back here. <laughs> so, hi, is everyone? Everyone doing all right? Everyone doing fine? <laughs> uh, I'm just throwing so much food in here. Caravan lunch. Yeah, you can store that in there. Pretty meat. Yep, that. 
Uh, this, this, that. Sure, the healing powder. I'm good to buy. Great. <laughs> good to know. Right, do not hit A. For the love of God, do not hit A. <laughs> Oh, that doesn't even weigh anything anyway. Uh, shoes. That. Uh, the omelet, whiskey, sander root. I really do carry a lot of random ass crap, don't I? Oh, not my Vault 13 canteen. I gotta keep that crap. I'm gonna put the stuff in there. Empty syringe, put them in there. I think it has weight that I don't need. Are you going to keep yours? Oh yeah, I forgot about my ears. Where are they? I forgot I had like ears in my back pocket. <laughs> Not in here. Huh? Thought I saw them in here somewhere. Is it somewhere in here? Maybe it isn't. I don't know. I thought I thought I remember I picked up ears and a, a brain and stuff. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have to drop something. Uh, I could drop the light machine gun. Because that one is going to break the next time I use it anyway. Uh, laser rifle I suppose I could drop. Binoculars. <laughs> See, these are all my weapons. Drop your balls. <laughs> drop them. <laughs> no. <laughs> Don't need them. <laughs> I might have to drop the sarsaparilla. <laughs> uh, what else? Weapon repair kit, I guess. I could drop some of that. Stealth boy. Purified water, probably. Hey, there we go. <laughs> okay, good to go. <laughs> Welcome back, one. Was like an oak casino. I forgot where the entrance was. <laughs> yeah, I'm just dropping stuff here. Because apparently there's a weight limit. <laughs> Fussy son of a gun's over here. Alright. Are you here to jarred me a while longer? Or are we ready? Are we are we ready now? Are you now? You know we ain't coming back this way for a good long while now, right? And you know about the weight limit. I don't want no whining about old Mr. Masterson. I left my one of a kind plasma cannon back at base. <laughs> Can we go back for it? You sure you're ready now? See if I get yeah, actually you know what I am gonna see if again. Uh, fair enough. <laughs> I am going to see if I can because I don't want to drop all that stuff. <laughs> okay, there we go. Are you here yep, 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 yep. I'm ready. You sure? Yep. I'm sure. Well, all right then. Let's get moving. We got a long road ahead of us. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, look at that little title card. Isn't that nice? The paths we're following are slow going, so you might as well keep your ears open and listen to what old Jed has to say. I'm listening, Jed. A few decades back, folks in the NCR started to hear about a community in northern Utah called New Canaan. Didn't know much about them, 
except that they were religious folks, sent out missionaries to talk to the tribes. We've seen our share of cults, but the new Canaanites, they were honest traders. Good fighters, too. Raiders wouldn't tangle with them. But then, the Legion appeared in Arizona. I reckon you know all about them. Mm -hmm. Turns out Caesar's first war chief, the Malpace Legate, was a new Canaanite, Joshua Graham. Legend goes that Graham was the meanest, toughest son of a bitch in the whole damn Legion. Damn. The new Canaanites wouldn't talk about him. They were ashamed. Guess I can't blame them. Well, at Hoover Dam, the Malpace Legate finally met his match. Hanlon and Oliver kicked his new Canaanite butt right back over the river. Caesar had to make an example for the others. <laughs> there he is. To show them that oh, Caesar Salad. The level, failure wouldn't be tolerated. He had Graham covered oh. in pitch, lit on fire, and thrown into the Grand Canyon. People say he didn't even scream on the way down. Not long after, some of the slaves and tribals started to talk. Said Graham wasn't dead. Shouldn't have been any surprise. All this talk bothered Caesar. Game is a bit quiet. Yeah, it got quiet for me here. I think that's just the game. Joshua Graham from history. He got his wish. Joshua Graham disappeared. And in his place came legends of the burned man walking the wastes. Oh. Just a tribal ghost story. But New Canaan's been silent for a long time. Maybe it's a coincidence. Maybe the Malpace Legate is dead. Or maybe Joshua Graham did crawl out of that canyon and finally found his way back home. Nope. Hey, look at that achievement. <laughs> All right, people. Been a long couple of weeks, but here we are. Zion, I know your feet hurt. Ooh. I know you're tired, but I need everyone's mind on the trail ahead. Ain't the trail ahead worries me, Jed. Those descents we made through that slot canyon back up there. Ain't no way we're getting back out the way we come. And then what? God damn it, Stella heard you the first time. And the 15th, too. The new Canaanites will know a way. And if they don't, we've got the maps on our friend's pit boy over there. Enough lollygagging. Get moving. And keep an eye out for tribals. Sorry to bother you with reality. Oh, hey, Pixel. <laughs> Who cares if we can't get back out the way we come? Arrival at Zion. It's not a problem. Is it still quiet, by the way? Uh, how is it now since we're not properly in the in the game again? Because that that cutscene was quite quiet. Oh, now. I swear I heard something up ahead. God damn it! Ambush! Cover people! Watch yourselves! Ah crap! Oh, hey, cryptic. <laughs> what does it want me to do? Sorry, I was looking away there for a second. Optional, defeat the white legs assault. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. oh, God. <laughs> they had to not expect them to beat, like, above. <gasps> ah crap! <laughs> I'm a terrible defender. <laughs> They're all dead. <laughs> ah crap. <laughs> what you got? <laughs> That's my question. Sorry, I didn't see it. I was I was paying attention to the game. Hold on. <laughs> Don't get your undies in a twist. Have, you, have I ever yelled this is for the Republic and then proceeded to kill an Englishman with a hatchet cut off his head and bring it to a bar on Christmas? Nope. <laughs> Can't say I have. Literally staring at everyone watching them die. I didn't know where they were shooting from. That's the thing. <laughs> That's the thing. <laughs> well, you know what? You know what? 
We're just gonna keep going. <laughs> oh, tomahawks. Ooh. <laughs> Sorry, don't mind me. Just looting, looting your corpses. Oh, that guy got his leg blown off. Ooh. I'm assuming it was better to uh, protect them, right? Actually, hold on. Did it, did it auto save at all? That okay, I did. You know, what? I'm actually I'm gonna go back. <laughs> we will go back see if I can protect any of them. So those guys are friendly, I'm assuming. Yeah, they are. Those guards are pointless as well. Could swear I heard something up ahead. God damn it, ambush! Cover people! Oh. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> now wait, hold on. I need my rat slayer. Where is it? Oh. Probably not gonna hit, but screw it. Oh, I did get him. Oh. Aha. There's a guy over there. Oh. You. I don't think I have enough FP for any of this. No, I don't. Hey. What are you shooting at? Ah, crap! <laughs> My god, wow. I can't- <laughs> I can't protect any of them. <laughs> wow. Even when I did shoot at them. I still suck. <laughs> to be fair, you can't protect any of them. Oh, really? Oh, well, it was worth a try. <laughs> so, you got any of that ammo? <laughs> uh, give me that. That's the fun part, it's scripted, but it was just funny watching you looking at people dropping dead. <laughs> the best bodyguard there is on this side of the Mojave. <laughs> you did a good job the second time. Thank you! I tried my best, alright? <laughs> but my best wasn't good enough. Ah, well. Now then, let's go on our adventure, I guess. What do you got here? Dark Datura? Why would I drink that? No. <laughs> Stella and Jedward were such real ones, too. Oh. Well, that's a new weapon. I think. I don't think I've seen a weapon like this before. It's poison for a melee weapon? Oh, that makes way more sense. Shame I don't got what? Ah! Oh, that's that one. Either point forty five or new. They're neat, I like them. Also, the weapon of choice for the burnt man. <laughs> hey, level up! God, it's been a while since I've had one of these. Wait, no, didn't I get one during the ending? Like the ending uh, quest? I think it did. Alright, what the hell do I put up here? Uh, repair? <laughs> Medicine? Medicine. 
Medicine. <laughs> Put lockpick up a little bit to 90. But you got one when leaving house a secret bunker, if I recall. Like with all the secure trunks, you became level 28. Oh, that's probably the last time I got I got a level. Well, I don't know if I got a level up on Tuesday's stream. I can't remember. I might have got one from all the people I was killing, but uh, it didn't. It didn't keep the level obviously because it, the game just ends. <laughs> Isn't that funny? The game ends at the at the last quest. Who would have thought? <laughs> <laughs> but it doesn't let you keep playing after, so there's a chance I could get a level up there or not, but I just cannot remember. Uh, repair again, sure, why not pump that up and then just. Yeah. <laughs> Lockpick up to about 100 next level, most likely, hopefully. Also, was it the Yes Man ending? It was the Yes Man ending, yes. <laughs> oh, the right shotgun. That's the shotgun I was waiting for. Yeah, I'll be honest. The other sides didn't really appeal to me. <laughs> I was like, you know what? I want Yes Man. <laughs> I want him to take over everything. <laughs> That's what I want to do. Oh, yeah, I forgot I saw the camera. Oh god, where? Hi, why? <laughs> Ooh. Oh. You... Uh, hello? <laughs> hello, misfortune. Go <laughs> on, yeah, yeah. Get a better vantage point here. <laughs> Hold on, give it a sec. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> that happens every now and then. Mostly with Mysterious Stranger. Boy, white legs don't leave survivors often. You're some kind of lucky, let me tell you. You came from outside. Your eyelids you? are flickering. From the civilized lands. Wow. Joshua will want to hear about this. We do. Yes, man, it was funny. We did a little trolling. <laughs> Intentionally, I think. It, if you want more detail, I went on an absolute rant for like an hour. On the subject, on a race, cheese stream, cool, come on, night. Oh, I know. I watched the VOD. <laughs> I decided to watch that stream. <laughs> Funnily enough. So, yes, I know the rant you went on. <laughs> like, I don't watch too many of over as VODs, I'll, I'll admit. But I thought, eh, why not? I, I finished the Elden Ring DLC not too long ago. I'll, I'll see where she's at at the moment. And yeah, you, you happen to be there too. In that stream. <laughs> you just went on the rat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who is this Joshua? Civil Lance, what do you mean? Uh, who's Joshua? Joshua Graham. He leads our tribe. Thanks to him, the dead horses are strong. And safe from our enemies. He'll want to talk to anyone coming up from Southways. I guess that means just you now. Come, I can take you to him. I can't stop staring at his eyelids. <laughs> Why are they flickering like that? <laughs> uh, you know what? Sure, my last group died. Why not? Good sists. We head east then. Joshua is at our tribe's camp in the Eastern Virgin. Bellows Chalk has, give, has given you the well stacked. I pronounce it Kyron? Kyron's? Kyron's back? Perk? Perk, 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 perk. Uh, well, if well, those chalk is in your party, reaching any summit in Zion Valley, such as ranger stations, will reveal all nearby map markers and inspire a heightened state of awareness, plus three perception, for three minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Copanon, you want me to shoot this guy in the head? Or as you put it, ahoy? Cairns? Is that how you pronounce it? Cairns? God, words are weird. <laughs> a 
Okay, well, I'll not shoot the guy. Because I don't want to <laughs> I don't want to bugger all this up. Uh, don't mind me, though. I'm just going to... I'm just going to loot... Uh, just going to loot this guy's body. Weapon binding ritual? Heal perception and limb damage. Restore limb condition. Melee damage. Plus 10. On arm damage, plus 10. And HP minus 2 for 2 seconds. Hello. <laughs> oh. <laughs> can we talk a little bit? What can I tell you? Well, for once your eyelids aren't glitching out. So, <laughs> I can't get distracted anymore. Yeah, I did it when he was behind a white leg and I thought he was one of them. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, he's got the same like a tire and everything, so I don't blame you. Uh, tell, him, uh, tell me a little about this area. Any interesting wildlife? Mostly it's the mountain bighorners. Whole herd of them up on the cliffs there. Usually they're not too aggressive, but lately, whew, my guess is Ooh. one of the calves got lost somewhere along the way. Bighorners are communal. One missing calf, and the whole herd gets ornery. If that calf doesn't turn up soon, they might very well come down into the valley and attack the camp. Maybe I can help with that. Yeah. Hey, thanks. Most of the hunters don't listen when I tell them the problem. Just one thing. Try not to kill any bighorners if you can, yeah? You'll I'll try. Hurt off and we'll have to range farther on our hunts. Only other required bit of advice. Take your time to explore this DLC. Read terminals, otherwise you'll miss the best parts. Oh, I'll read terminals and stuff anyway. But yeah, I'll... I mean, you've seen how I've, I've explored around the base game. <laughs> you, you know? I, I should be fine. I like to get a little nosy round, so... Yeah. Uh, what would you suggest I do instead? Hmm. You might try luring the baby out with some banana yucca. These big banana, go get over here. <laughs> I I need you. <laughs> we gotta we, we gotta dry the calf. <laughs> I'll look into it. That's great. I'll help any way I can. <laughs> oh wait, I wasn't done talking to you. Oh wait. Quest? Oh, the papa didn't appear. I don't even know the name of the quest. What can I tell you? Uh, who are those tribals who attacked me? White legs. Nasty bunch. They've been raiding deeper into Zion ever since New Canaan was wiped out. Wait, what? New, New Canaan was wiped out? Hi. That's what Joshua <laughs> no. said. White legs came down from Great Salt Lake in force fell on New Canaan before they could mount a defense. Joshua found some of the survivors led by a man named Daniel. Most of them have fled the valley, but Daniel stayed on with the Sorrows tribe. He and Joshua have been arguing over whether to stand and fight the White Legs, or take the Sorrows and the Dead Horses out of the valley. Where did they come from? That's the weird part. Normally, the White Legs keep to the Great Salt Lake. I don't know what brought them down this far south. Hmm. What can I tell you? Snatch from a stream to be killed. <laughs> uh, what are all those tattoos? Dead horses mark our site oh, cool. to commemorate our hunts. <laughs> Finally, when a hunter my people. <laughs> a beast, or when a youth goes on his first hunt, he gets a tattoo. Of course it's dead horses. I am not... Uh, <laughs> it follows me everywhere now. <laughs> um, oh, wow, you've got a lot here. Uh, tell me about your tribe. We came up in the land of the dead horse. <laughs> Though, why the back when folks called it that, I got no hint. We raided. We fought. We lost. Our enemies drove us back into Zion, and we would have died if it hadn't been for Joshua. Joshua and his Kaisar. I like how every NPC pronounces that guy's name differently. It's either Caesar or Kaisar. <laughs> they, they can't decide which it is. <laughs> uh, wait, what about Caesar Salad? When Joshua first came to us, he was servant to a man he called Kaisar. 
He led his master's armies, and we were ready to follow him into war. Then he lost his master's army to a tribe called NCR, the <laughs> Sunset People. When he returned, okay, the NCR. It was as you saw him, burned, broken, but changed. He led us away from Kaisar, led us to our own destiny in Zion. NCR, okay. He doesn't he doesn't know that they're actually called the NCR. <laughs> uh why are you called follows chalk? Our advanced scouts leave chalk signs to mark places rich with game. Oh. I'm not a full scout yet, so I follow the marks and guide the hunters. Yeah, makes sense. Uh what did Josh what did Joshua do to you? Or do for you, not do to you. Joshua. The dead horses would still be the whipping boys of the Zion Valley. He taught us how to hold our territory, to protect ourselves. He guided us away from Kaisar, and showed us how Kaisar would have destroyed us. Hmm. I, mean, I don't see so. I don't see Hoodie here. Seems he got so bad that there's no meaning in bullying anymore. Oh, he was here. He was here. He redeemed uh, the second ch challenge point reward. So he he was here. He just didn't talk in chat. <laughs> I don't think. <laughs> uh, what do you know about the new Canaanites? Little bit. I met some of their missionaries a few times, but I've never been to their city. Joshua could tell you more. Or Daniel, I imagine. Daniel? Who's Daniel? Hmm. Oh my god. <laughs> I see you find the new channel point reward. <laughs> oh my god. All right. Hold on. <laughs> so yes, I did. I did add lose the glasses as a channel point reward. Now give me a sec while I actually get the timer up for me. Ugh. Wonder where you got that idea. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty obvious where I got the idea from. I was going back and forth whether I should add it or not. But uh, I am also equally as blind without my glasses. So I thought, eh, why the hell not? <laughs> Plus a lot of people don't, like, I don't have a lot there to, for people to use their channel points on anyway. So I thought, eh, why the hell not? <laughs> All right. So I think I have it set for like 10 minutes. And now I cannot see a single thing chat's saying. <laughs> Isn't that great? There we go. Like 10 minutes. <laughs> I actually have to, like, lean in now. It's awful. <laughs> I can't read any of these dialogue options. <laughs> oh, what's that? Say? Okay, what's with the shell, the, the shell casings in your club? <laughs> we decorate our clubs with them to honor Joshua Graham. They were the weapons of his old tribe. So now they are ours. Can't say they seem that dangerous to me. But Joshua says they won the West. Is it easier to read if I yell at you, blind idiots? <laughs> you know what's funny? Actually, yes. <laughs> it kinda is. <laughs> uh, do you remember anything about Joshua from before he became your leader? Only a little. I was very young. He was... different. Prouder, yes, but... Harder, crueler, more driven. Really, I was terrified of him. We all were. When he came back, I almost didn't believe he was the same man. He was humbler. He wanted to protect, not destroy. Hmm. <laughs> Everyone's just in caps now. <laughs> My chat looks like a screaming match. <laughs> Oh god, they're all yelling. <laughs> uh, why is it so important that, that we fight the white legs? Well, because they're our enemies. What else would we do? They take our land, they kill our scouts, they poach our hunting grounds. Uh, I don't have any more questions, let's talk about something else. Ask away. Uh, if I can even read any of this. <laughs> Uh, you know what? We're good for now. <laughs> Go with fortune, friend. This is awful. Everything's like a bit blurry. 
Wait, what? See that log over there? I can't. That. Take a closer look. There might be some good stuff tucked in there. Okay. I just might see it. Oh. <laughs> oh, goody. A carrot. <laughs> a fresh carrot. But a carrot, no less. No, no, Gwen, I will not put it in my ass. <laughs> my vision may be blurry, but I can still see what the hell you're writing. <laughs> I may be blind, but I'm, I don't go that- I don't swing that way. <laughs> oh god. Oh, I vaguely- I can't actually can't really see that. <laughs> but I vaguely remember these from Fallout 3. That was some kind of lucky. Guess that one was all full of gecko, eh? Don't get used to it, though. Yao Guai are plenty mean as a rule. Okay. Doesn't swing that way. <laughs> Root vegetables. <laughs> Look, okay, I like to eat carrots. And that's about the height of it. <laughs> you can take the path north here if you want. Oh my god, it's only been like four minutes. <laughs> east over the ridge. There's a nice view from the top of that cliff. If you want to look. Sure. You know, I have a little nosy. <laughs> okay, hold on. What what is this? Oh, that's a plant. <laughs> it's it's just a sheep for me. <laughs> it's just a sheep. <laughs> it's like a I can kill that. <laughs> Hold on, I can... I, I can kill that. Hold up, wait, I can, I can kill that. The bomb is not around, are they? <laughs> the bomb is not around, are they? Yeah, what, where, hi, why? Oh, there's the mama. Oh, it's a giant one. Look, God, look at that thing. I could, I could just about look at it. <laughs> oh, I've got nothing to fear. They're nothing like death claws. Oh, what's the chances I'm gonna, I'm gonna come across so many of those things? <laughs> well, from what I can see, this looks nice. Very different from the Mojave Wasteland. Okay, it's been five and a half minutes. <laughs> Still a bit to go. So if I remember correctly, his perk lets me... Okay, it doesn't show it on the map. But I can see it on the compass. Here he is there. There are you there. I'll go over here. Spine. Oh, oh. Fruit. Okay. I'm gonna assume it's all like vegetables and and fruit and all that crap. Some kind of view up here, eh? If you know how to look, you can spot all kinds of landmarks from up here. Look, I'll show you. <laughs> I can't. Follows chalk. I can't see a thing. <laughs> Uh, so, well, I got stuff on my map now. Ah. Virgin River. What does that say? Oh, whoops, no. I got two Skies Kiev and... Old Rockville Bridge. Okay. I think I'll go there. Like, how, how far do I have to go for the other the quest? Over there? Nah, these closer. Is, all this is much, much closer. Yeah, I should probably go to see if we're down. Ugh. This is the longest 10 minutes I've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> but 
by the way, you can only redeem that like twice per person. I don't think I, I don't think I put a limit on it for like the, the entire stream. But I think I did put like a tw a 20 minute cooldown on it. For the sake of it not being <laughs> turned on immediately after. <laughs> after putting my glasses back on. <laughs> what are you saying? I don't know what you said there, buddy. But, uh, whatever... Whatever it was, sounds nice. <laughs> Wherever you told me to go. But I want to go to these places first. Because I gotta explore. You know, there's probably still places in... The Mojave Wasteland that I haven't... Haven't came across yet. Because I think there... I think I have come across a couple of, uh... Map markers on the compass that I just never went to. Are you gonna follow me if I drop down here? If not, well, I'll not wait on you. You'll catch up eventually, I'm sure. Okay, that's like a minute left. <laughs> Soon I'll be able to see again. Hang on. Yeah, what? You're going the wrong way. Fine. If you're gonna if you're gonna yell at me, I may as well go the way you want me to. Jeez. <laughs> Ran a load. <laughs> oh, still a while away. <laughs> what's that? What's that? What, what's that enemy on the compass? Who get near me? Yeah, we stopped talking to you because we know you can't see. Maybe in a minute you'll stop being sad and alone, you poor Irishman. <laughs> like, don't be afraid to keep talking <laughs> for my sake. Like, oh, like I don't, I don't mind leaning closer towards the screen. <laughs> you see the dead sentries? No, I don't actually. Our enemy souls are trapped in them. But Joshua says it shows we're serious about fighting white legs. Okay. Okay, it's been ten minutes. <laughs> it's been ten minutes. I can put my glasses back on. Ugh. Oh my god, I can see again. <laughs> oh, everything's so crystal clear. <laughs> Actually, my, hold on, my glasses need to be cleaned. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't realize how dirty they were until I took them off. Hold on, hold on. I actually need a new pair of glasses. These ones are starting to fall apart on me. <laughs> I'm not joking. Ugh. <laughs> Clean them with paint. No! Oh. oh. What is that gecko doing? Why is that gecko in the floor? That gecko all the way in the, into the floor. Actually, you know what? I don't care. We're just gonna, gonna go to the village. Just install Outer Wilds mods to let me marry the goat on the moon. You know the one? Do I know the one? Oh, yes, I do know the one. Never mind. <laughs> See those handprints? Dead horses and sorrows mark them on taboo places. Places from back when. Good thing for you, I don't buy into that stuff. <laughs> Good to know. Ah, oh, Sarsaparilla. What's so taboo about this place? It's got books. And magnum ammo. <laughs> oh, here, hold on. Uh, I still have my, my glasses in my inventory, don't I? There we go. <laughs> for, for the sake of adding novelty to it. I'll, uh, I'll, put, I'll put my glasses on in-game. <laughs> oh. Wrong button. <laughs> huh. Very open toilet. Hm. 
freaky looking picture. Alright, uh, let me look at the map how close we are. Yeah, we're getting there. Down this path to the north. Hope you don't mind getting wet. Oh, I don't mind. I don't mind, follows chalk. So what's the problem with getting a little soaked? These paintings show the dead horses' victories against other tribes. Oh. Lots more of them since Joshua came to us. How do they get up there? <laughs> to paint that, do they just climb up? I'm assuming. Very brave of them. I couldn't do that. Hmm. Uh, nothing here. <laughs> what the? Hold on. Oh, a cursed bot. There we go. And get out of here. <laughs> Dumb bots. Hmm. There we go. I mean maybe you could do it if you saw things. I mean I'm terrified of heights. That's what I mean, like I couldn't do that. I was like, oh nearly there terrified now. of heights. Watch out for traps in the water. Got to keep the white legs out somehow. Oh, oh you're not wrong. Yeah, there's a trap there. Yeah, I'm just gonna, just gonna just not not run into those traps. But I will disarm them. <laughs> I mean, he doesn't seem mad about it, so I don't care. <laughs> I learned I don't have a fear of heights. I have a fear of falling down due to epic nightmares I had as as a kid. Here, so it's easier. Uh, <laughs> my glasses are on. Don't worry, I can I can read it fine. <laughs> oh nope, didn't mean to drink that. Yeah, I I have a fear of heights. Like I, <laughs> I mean, even then can't trust you. <laughs> but like I th I think I might have gotten it from my dad because my dad also has a fear of heights. <laughs> There's like this the same fear of like high high. Here we are. Cause like I'm, I'm not joking. It's actually quite pathetic how he's scared of heights we are. <laughs> Genuinely. Oh hello. Oh. God, Jack, one of my sims. Out of nowhere they just stop with what they're doing and start doing push-ups. Anyway, Joshua? Oh. Hi. Hi. Hello, two bears high-fiving. Yeah, uh, okay. What? Oh, they're fighting. Oh, who's gonna win? <laughs> you know, I'll, I'll leave them to it. Oh, this is cozy. Though a little scary oh. at the roof. Auslander Zuka, Joshua Graham. Do what? Show respect, Auslander. Joshua Graham, greatest war chief. Oh, okay. The one that you don't shoot will win. <laughs> I don't think I want to shoot any of them. Dead horse disciple of of Canaan. Good. Right back at you. <laughs> Uh, okay. <laughs> I don't know what he said. What did he say? I, mean, I, I, I know he said goot. What's that mean? <laughs> what does goot mean? Oh. We should have given you a better welcome on your first visit to Zion. But from what I hear, the White Legs beat us to it. White Legs seem to be the only visitors we have these days. And I wouldn't have expected anyone from the Mojave to come looking for us. And you're a courier, no less. How could he Not tell? I was expecting, but I suppose he wouldn't have come with a caravan. I don't know if you were close to the other members of your group, but you have my sympathy. 
One of them shot me. I pray for the safety of all good people who come to Zion, even Gentiles. But we can't expect God to do all the work. Uh, how do you know so much about what happened to me? I came here with the Happy Trails Caravan Company to make contact with the new uh, Canaanites. Okay, yeah, Canaanites. Uh, how do I get out of here? <laughs> uh, how do you know so much about what happened to me? The dead horses are capable scouts. Nothing passes into or out of Zion without my hearing of it. Okay, well, I came here with the Happy Trails Caravan Company. Happy Trails. I remember. They were good friends. I have bad news for your employers. New Canaan was destroyed, its citizens scattered. All because of the White Legs. And Caesar, of course. Hmm. The White Legs want to join the Legion. Caesar's rite of passage is the destruction of the New Canaanites. Almost assuredly because of me. The good news is that we can help you find your way back. Daniel. One of the other new Canaanites has made many maps of the region. The bad news is that we can't help you right now. What? Not with everything that's going on. I'm not going to leave without offering to help. What can I do? Uh, don't try to get get me to help you. I'm not interested. I better go find dear Daniel and shake the information out. No, you know what? I'll help. I'll help. You're a good neighbor to us. We all go through periods of darkness. In such times, we can turn to the Lord. But it's good to have friends. Daniel and I need pre-war tools to help us navigate beyond Zion. Should we need to evacuate, these instruments will be vital to us. Normally, we would have some of the dead horses or sorrows look for them. But many pre-war buildings in the valley are taboo. They won't go inside. Hmm. I'll see what I... Oh, uh, wait. Uh, taboo? The Sorrows believe in a spirit that lives in the caves. Say the spirit punished them once for trespassing. They put special marks around the cave entrances to keep people out. It doesn't work on the white legs, of course. But the dead horses are spooked. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Thank you. Follows Chalk can help you find your way around the valley. He's inexperienced, but he knows enough of our language to ignore the taboos about pre-war buildings. Hmm. I kind of like his voice. I wonder who voices him. Hmm. Oh, crafting benches here. Uh, workbench create. Oh, his voice is beautiful. <laughs> and I take it you're a fan of it too. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh damn, we're getting all sorts of quests. Oh, hello. Believe it or not, yes. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Good. <laughs> All right. <laughs> This looks great. Those jeans. I'm sure they do. I'll take your word for it, Gwen. Uh, <laughs> search the ruins of the crashed scout bus for a compass. Uh, search the Zion fishing lodge for walkie talkies. Search the Zion general store for five little scout lunch boxes. Search the Zion ranger station for a medical supply kit. Find the way up the cliffs. Hmm. Oh, that's the. One earlier. Uh, sure, how far do I have to go for this? Oh, not very far. Not very far at all. Still with me, Chalk? <laughs> oh, it's a bit of a high drop, that. Uh, I can get down. I can get down from here. Yee. 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 <laughs> Wait, is it better to go this way? Nah, we'll go this way. Back where we came from. <laughs> the Chalky will come up with me. <laughs> Vetch, oh wait! That night. Hey, here he comes! <laughs> Little Chalks. Iguana bits. What are these? 
Oh, it's a young gecko. Oh, it's so tiny. Look at it. It's so tidy. He thinks he's so threatening. <laughs> the little, little gecko. Ah. Damn, you didn't hold back, did you? <laughs> <laughs> he just went straight for the kill. Oh, look. It's another baby gecko. Look at it. It's so, ti it's so tidy. That's so funny to me. I'm just like, oh, look how tiny it is. And he just goes, fighting time. <laughs> starts, starts blasting. The, the hell is that thing? Wait, what was that? What, what was that thing with legs? What is that? Oh, it's a, oh, it's an ant. I thought it was like a big spider for some reason. It looked like a big spider. Hmm. You can find your you can find your way down, can't you? Yup. Toy car. <gasps> Skeleton. Hmm? See this? this is why your oh. own two feet are better than any cart. Whether it's pulled by critters or goes on its own. The hell? Something going on over there. Wait, so what what am I doing here again? What am I supposed to pick up? A compass. Okay. Compass, 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 compass. And a lot of lunch boxes though. This was a, oh, this is a school bus, isn't it? Oh, that's oh, that's tragic. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I'm just die seeing all the tiny skeletons. Oh no. Uh oh, dinosaur toy. Hmm. So many lunch boxes. Oh, oh, there goes the dinosaur. Where is this thing? Where is this compass, huh? There's probably. Oh, wait, there it is. It's sitting right in front of me and I didn't see it. That's with the glasses on. Uh, <laughs> this compass is broken, but can possibly be restored to a fully functioning state. Uh, repair the compass. Repair parts. I can repair it, right? Yeah, there we go. Alright. Next. Gone fishing. Where do I have to go for that? Oh, that's... Oh, that's a while away. Uh, anywhere a little closer? No. Oh my god, another bot? Jeez, what the hell's going on? There we go. <laughs> Darn bots. They're very active today. Whatever's going on. Uh, fine, you know what? I'll do the... I'll do the fishing one. But what I will do... I'll explore up here first. Because I want to. I want to explore! I like to explore in these games! Oh this oh this weapon's condition's not very good. Just saying that now. Got plenty of ammo, but this thing ooh, not doing great. Ah, rat scorpions. They're still around. I don't know why they wouldn't be. Hmm? You alright, Chalk? God, that is a massive ant. Actually, you got him, right? Yeah, you got him. Good job, Chalks. I miss my dog. <laughs> I miss Raul. <laughs> what? 
Enemies? Oh, so this is... This is higher up than I thought this would be. Uh... Oh. More than diner. Hmm. You know, I'm gonna go back down this way. <laughs> it's a... It's a little too high for my liking. Yeah, I need... I need a safer way down. Ugh. Yeah, still nothing. Still nothing here. Yeah. Oh, there's a oh, hydrate from Brandel. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> ah, thank you. <laughs> Hmm. Maybe this wasn't the best place to jump to. <laughs> wait, no, wait. Hold on. I can get down safely. So why go down the safe? Oh, look! <laughs> we, this camera's clipped through the wall! <laughs> Where was that, by the way? <laughs> Look sharp. Oh, Gawa. Those are the white legs. Killers. Don't really know what that means. Something from back when, I guess. I'm sorry, I didn't exactly catch that. Wish I did, though. Hmm. It must have been nice when Zion was friendly enough. Folks could make camp wherever they pleased. Not worry about white legs and deadly critters. Yeah, it's pretty nice not having to worry about that stuff. You know, just I mean I guess the only thing people had to worry about was bears. I suppose bears wouldn't appear around here, would they? No. Maybe tidy scorpions. But not not the big ones we got here. What's with the hey, hey, hey? <laughs> Gwen. <laughs> oh no, what did I say? Was it the bears? <laughs> oh, you're having a real good chuckle over there, aren't you? I don't know what of, but you're having a real good chuckle. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, it's the dog. Not a coyote. It, ah, what? Where? Hi, when? Oh, and there goes the dog. Hmm? Ah. Oi! <laughs> no! Yeah, we couldn't save the dog, unfortunately. Nah, it's got. Oh, oh hello! Worst day ever. Oh, and now he's unconscious. Oh, and I'm low on the old. Oh, and I'm suddenly feeling a little woozy there. Oh, no. <laughs> right, on, this will work. Do I have epi? A little bit. Oh, damn, the kickback. <laughs> Leo dead, Stella dead, that baby gecko dead, dog dead. <laughs> They're all dead. Oh, right, my health is incredibly low, I just noticed that. Heal, heal, heal. Heal. Got anti venom, right? Ah. Come on, follow shock. Get up, you can walk it off. Let me... I haven't added this weapon into my hotkeys yet. Where's my weapons? There it is. Yeah, added the four. Why is the music... Oh, I was about to say, why is the music still playing? But someone up there. Ah, they're not my problem anymore. East Fork Bridge. Ooh. A bit rickety looking. Oh, hello. 
<laughs> Sorry, am I intruding on your bridge? I'm just passing through, don't mind me. Time for Gwen to complain about being hungry again. You're always hungry when, I, when I'm streaming. <laughs> yeah, I was hungry. Yo, what am I saying? I usually end up getting food during Araya's Sunday stream, so... <laughs> oh. Oh, this cave does not sound nice. Yeah, I'll go I cave. What could go wrong? Come on, Chalks. Hmm. Hmm. Nothing in here. Hello? Any... Any vicious creatures roaming about? There's a floating skull, though. <laughs> nah, it's not. Where the hell am I going? <laughs> Hold on, let me check the map. Am I going around circles? Nope, nope, still going. Still heading. I hear some oh. odd things about the civilized lands outside Zion. Is there really a giant thunder lizard people live inside? No. <laughs> I think he's. Is he talking about Novak? So that has the giant dinosaur. Oh wow, there's nothing in here. Incredible. <laughs> yeah, he's talking about Novak. Okay, yeah, because that that's the only thing I can think of that's like <laughs> related to what he said there about giant thunder lizard. <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, probably the massive dinosaur he's talking about. Oh, am I intruding? <laughs> oh. Ooh. Ooh, the eyes popped out in that one. Oh, he's flying! Those berries he mentioned? Ah! Yeah, there they are. <laughs> we got bears. We got them bears. And they barely got a head on me. Eh? 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 Guess at whatever level you're at, they are the big issue. Oh yeah, no problems here. No problems here. Love a little nosy rind. Ugh. Swim, man, swim. <laughs> You'll be good until the divide. That sounds scary. <laughs> the divide? <laughs> oh god. You know, I was gonna ask what the what is the divide, but you know, I, I'll probably end up coming across it. Get out. <laughs> no, I will not get out. <laughs> this is my stream. <laughs> I will not get out. It's in the last DLC. Oh. Yeah, the, the order in the DLCs I'm going in is literally the, the order you, you said in the Discord message, Gwen. <laughs> oh, wait, did I go the wrong way again? Way I heard it, huh? salt upon wounds butchered everyone in New Canaan, and nailed their corpses to the cliffs. That also sounds awful. Oh God! <laughs> oh, the exit's like over, over here. It's where couriers are, are picked to pieces. Oh, oh, oh God! Wait, I'm a courier. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh God, bugs! This 
This is a strong shotgun. <laughs> like, what the hell? You have to check that's the right order. Okay. Yeah, because I, I remember you saying... And... What the hell was that? Did I get hit? I got hit. Uh, I, I remember, like, hearing you say, like, on Array's Tuesday stream, that there was, like, an order to it. And I thought, I'll just check the, the Discord message. Just to see. Am I still dying from... Am I dying from poison? Is that what that is? Oh, I see the hydrate. <laughs> I'm keeping an eye on my health whenever that noise appears again. Drink your sorrows away. Fine, I'll drink my sorrows. <laughs> This is a really watered down orange juice. Really watered down. I don't know why it's so watered down. <laughs> it wasn't even me who watered it down. <laughs> you. Actually, wait. I'm gonna heal. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't trust. I don't trust myself with the. Uh, With the trying to fight with his health. <laughs> Swim. <laughs> I like the little top hat. Hey, right, hold on. I just just noticed something with the weapon. The weapon like spins anytime I get out of the water. <laughs> I guess it's just the animation thing, I'm assuming. Well, that's peculiar. Yeah, see, notice that? Anytime I go, anytime I go swimming, he puts the weapon away, but he puts it over his shoulder. Come back out of the water, he takes it from behind, like underneath. <laughs> what if that's the case with all the weapons? I'd never play it third person so I never noticed. Usually I don't. It was just like, just moments like these where we're just running about. I thought, eh, why not? We'll go third person. Stop hiding behind the damn tree. I mean, you're literally following me, buddy. I don't, I don't know. How, I don't know how to tell you this, but... Oh, look. It's another... It's another baby gecko. Surely nothing bad will happen with this gecko. Whoa. Here we go. <laughs> Someone stop this man. <laughs> Am I going the right way? <laughs> No, I'm not. I'm going the opposite direction. Okay. Someone stop this man. He's killing all the baby geckos. How's my day? My day's been fine. Uh, not, I haven't been up too much, so... Oh. How was your day? How is everyone's day? Actually, I was going to ask you specifically, Colbin, but no, how is everyone's day going? Is it going well for you? Do anything fun? Oh, oh, it's raining. Wait, it's raining? It rains? <laughs> it rains in this game? I don't think I've ever seen a, like, a drop of rain anywhere in this game. <laughs> right now, good because I got yogurt. Ooh. It is not going well. It's actually terrible. Oh, because it's night. Do you not like the night? Something bad happening at night? I feel like I'm prying. <laughs> Apologies if I sound like I'm prying. <laughs> Ooh, a gory explosion that is. You know 
Give me the dirty water. It rains. Yeah, it's raining. Oh, day's not going well because night. Oh, sorry. I did not catch on to that joke. Uh... Damn, I didn't catch the joke. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> uh, so it's, it's funny that you're so used to me being the only one here that you only said a specific question to me only. <laughs> yeah, kind of true. Actually, it's cast out, isn't it? of the old world were taboo doesn't look so spooky to me <laughs> not that spooky comes with a free comes with a free little baby gecko I'm doing well just letting my, my stuff charge and I'm gonna go out to eat and do some sketches for a project ooh sounds nice both the going out to eat and doing sketches how do I attack the gecko <laughs> Meanwhile, follow chalks here is going for the <laughs> going for the headshots. <laughs> oh, oh, it's locked. Hey, walkie talkies, got him. <laughs> hey, follow shark, want to want a walkie talkie? Ooh, rad X stamp packs, thank you very much. Very useful. Energy cells for weapon for a weapon I don't have on me. <laughs> Ooh, Bobby Vinnigan. And a key. I find you find the key to the lock cabinet in the Z in the Zion Fishing Lodge. Yes I did, game. <laughs> Yes, I did. <laughs> Surprise, there was a pop-up for that. Going fishing. Oh, I missed another fish montage. <laughs> a lot of fishing in video games. Like, yeah. Oh, oh. Is that thunder? There's thunder too? It rains and there's thunder. Incredible. <laughs> Truly fascinating. <laughs> Yeah, fishing's like a, a thing that pops up a lot in games, doesn't it? Isn't it? <laughs> pops up a lot. They tend to pop up a lot in RPGs, I think. Like Final Fantasy XV, you can do fishing in that. In fact, I think they released a VR fishing game to do with Final Fantasy XV. Whatever reason. <laughs> then again, I find FF15 a bit of a weird game. Funny though. Especially the pictures, the prompto text. They can be real goofy at times. Like, I've lost track of how many pictures I've had of uh, Ignis, I think he was called. The one that cooks. And how many pictures I have of him with his glasses falling off. Bet they don't have anything as nasty as Yao Guai <laughs> out where you come from. I don't know why that's a common picture. You see, there's I've I've had some uh, some pictures took of just the sky. <laughs> Probably just took pictures of the sky for whatever reason. Uh, there is no safe way down, is there? Oh, hold on, roll around. I don't want to jump off a cliff. <laughs> oh, 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 we got, we got violence. I can't see, oh, hello, good sir. Goodbye, good sir. Oh, he's still alive. Oh, we can't have that. Ooh, oh, a shish kebab. At least skybox is really something. You know, like, genuinely, I've, I've, I've had that, like, so many pictures. Well, not so many pictures, but I go to, like, Two or three pictures of just the sky. Because he texts them automatically, you see, while, while you played the game. So... <laughs> it's just... So, like, he would take pictures while you're in the middle of a battle. He would, uh... 
you know, maybe if you're out running about, maybe in the car, stuff like that. Wait, the shish, the shish kebab drains my HP for five seconds? <laughs> okay. The good skybox is pretty beautiful. Oh, that's true. Oh my god, what's going on over here? Violence? Come now, there's no need to get violent. At least invite me to the violence. What's going on over here? There's no one about. <laughs> Hello? I have no idea who was shooting. Okay. That's none of my concerns. As long as they're not shooting at me. Am I right? <laughs> as long as they ain't shooting at me. Oh wait. An enemy. On the compass. <gasps> you know, that ant looked at me. That ant looked at me weird. Didn't let him just walk on past like that. I guess you could say he was also bugging me. Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> North Fork uh, Campground. Okay. What? Who? Pop your head up. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> that, that was actually a very violent explo- Oh, that's Father's Talk. That was a very violent explosion. I believe you have told me that one before. Oh, hey, anti... anti-material rifle. <gasps> Give me. I've got room for all this crap now, so... <laughs> I may as well. <laughs> may as well grab him. Ooh. That's new, I think. Hmm. I'll take this for the anti-venom. Like that one, that one Daisy map in Mario Kart we released released in two thousand eight. A skybox move. Oh, yeah. What was it called again? Daisy Circuit. Yeah, I like that one. <laughs> Actually, does anyone have a favorite Mario Kart track? I quite like. Uh, what do you call it? It was in Mario Kart Wii as well. Uh, Maple Tree Way. I like that one mostly for the music. I like the song from Maple Tree Way. Ow! Did you just throw a tomahawk at me? <laughs> Mute City, baby. Ah. Man, I want a new F Zero. <laughs> I can do. F Zero's a lot of fun. Oh, discover 125 locations. <laughs> Master of the Mojave. Even though I'm nowhere in the Mojave. <laughs> Thank you, game. Yeah, I like Mute City as well. But... I think I prefer Big Blue over it. Because I, I, I quite like those tracks that is just one big long road. You know, that's just... Not laps, just... The big long ones. Uh, I like those ones. Plus, I really like the the music for Big Blue. Got him. And, oh, not the antenna. Something about jazzy Big Blue. Like speaks to me. Like I, I can't get enough of that. <laughs> I 
can't get it off a of jazzy big blue. That's so fair, they're both so good. They are. But they're also both really make me want to have a new FCO kill. <laughs> Senna, there's like two... There's like two indie games that I think you can buy on Steam right now. They're like an early access that are like F-Zero inspired. I should probably check them out. See if they're any good. There we go. So really, I should really get back around to F-Zero 99. Because that one's fun. That's a fun game. <laughs> Keep going. I should probably switch to a different weapon as well. <laughs> uh oh, this is completely broken. Ah crap. That's fine, I've got never mind, not that. <laughs> I don't have as much ammo for that. Maria, of course. I could use old Maria. Benny's old weapon. Morning glory cave. Where, where does Kiva? Oh. Way I heard it. Salt upon wounds butchered everyone in New. F099 is just too poorly designed. <laughs> Read as I keep losing. <gasps> Have you not won yet, Gwen? <gasps> you haven't won yet in F099? I. I think I've only won a, what won a race once. And then I've never been able to achieve that again. <laughs> Is that a plant? It's a plant. It was a vault full of plants. Imagine not winning. <laughs> I think I've said this in the past, but if like if there was like enough people like you know constantly watching the stream or whatever, I would like to do a stream where I would play F zero ninety nine and people can join in. Because I think I think you can make like a custom lobby for people to join. I think that would be fun. You know. Obviously, it depends on how many people have a Switch and Switch Online. <laughs> Is there much in here? Oh, wait, there's a little pathway over there I missed. Oh, there is. What's with, what's with the smiley face? Ow, what? Is that you? Oh, okay, I see now. <laughs> I was about to say, what the hell shot me? Hmm, very hidden. I'm gonna disarm them. If I can target it. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna go back in first person. <laughs> oh, a little bit more. Hmm. Any other traps? <laughs> Anything else that's gonna either shoot at me or hurt me in some way? Ooh. Oh, who would leave all this stuff just sitting here? Terrible. Ooh. Terminal. Oh, these are all drained. Oh, different logs. Different years. Year 2108, August 22nd, 10 sets of tracks, half mile northeast of canyon entrance. Barefoot? <laughs> August 23rd, saw them through scope, corpses walking around. Finally gone crazy, dementia maybe. 24th of August, I'm not crazy, they're real. God damn it, they're real. Rushed me the moment they saw me, snarling like animals. They look like corpses, but don't smell rotted. Probably talking about the white legs, I'm assuming, right? I'll be putting them out of their misery, doing, doing for, the, doing for them what I, what I never could for myself. September third, the last of them, all gone. Ghouls? Oh, ghoul! Yeah, yeah, probably ghouls. That's probably a better, 
<laughs> That's probably a better one, yeah. Ghouls. <laughs> Barefoot? Mm -hmm. Uh, year 2113. <laughs> Fair Happy birthday to me, happy birthday to me, happy birthday, you useless old dinosaur, happy birthday to me. <laughs> happy 60th. What do you, what do you get a man who has everything? A bottle of whiskey and a 12 gauge slug through the roof of the mouth? Woo! Come now. What do I have to do to prove to myself that I've lived long enough? I'm a shriveled old man, white beard, seeing enough sunrises and, sun and sunsets. Saw the big sunset, been hanging on through the long night, 36 years now. Ridiculous. Not kidding myself into thinking there's there's anything on the other side of this. Fine. Things weren't so bad before I was born. Char and Alex. Sylvie. Syl yeah, Sylvie. And Michael, who, who could have been. Thoughts on the beloved dead before dying. Goodbye, Zeon. Fe February 6th. Sixth. Sorry. <laughs> Effin didn't do it. Coward as usual. Maybe two balls next year. He wants to end it all by the signs of it. April 25th. 24 of them. Half boys, half girls. Youngest is 8 maybe. Oldest 13, 14. Dirty and scrawny. Been on foot a long time. Children's crusade. Stre oh, and I, okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> You've noticed I also added stretch back. With limits this time. <laughs> with limits. <laughs> I'm not I'm not making that same mistake that I did last time <laughs> of forgetting to add a time limit. So that's set to 30 minutes. Crying I learned. Let me see sure. I'm pretty sure I added a limit. Of 30 minutes. <laughs> By the way, did you know you could actually set the limit for a challenge point reward to be up to seven days? Because apparently you can. I didn't know until I just happened to notice the little, little text underneath it. I was like, oh, you can set the limit up until seven days. Like, oh, don't know who would have that, but oh. Uh, I'll stretch after I read all this. <laughs> Struck camp on nearly the same spot as lost Me Mexicanos. 30 years and a lifetime ago. I spent two nights listening to them. English. Literate. One of them reads stories while the little ones fall asleep. Oh, bedtime stories. That sounds nice. <laughs> they skipped somewhere they call the school, but can't figure out where it was. When they want a little one to behave, they tell them to stop or the principal will get you. The principal better not show up or I'll blow his goddamn head off. I can still shoot straight. Hmm. Make use of that seven day limit on something. But you see, here's the thing. Does that, does it have to be in one stream though? I don't know. <laughs> we could do it as a test. <laughs> we could actually, because seven days would be back to the next Thursday, for the next Thursday stream. <laughs> so I can add just a test. And we'll find out on Tuesday if, uh, <laughs> if it's, if it's still like on cooldown. Right, so there were kids here and some sort of principal. Some guy here looking to end it all, too. <laughs> I don't see any corpses, so I don't know if he did. I'm assuming he still sort of hung around for the children. Hmm. So I finally get to explore all those taboo places without the other scouts yelling at me? I can't wait. <laughs> It'll be an adventure. <laughs> It'll be like an adventure. Get up. Huh, you put that there. Ah, hmm? uh, just a single frag grenade. Who put that there too? Shocking. Terrible. <laughs> I'm limping now. <laughs> it's fine, I can heal up.
There we go. Use him as a meat shield if anything happens. What? Fall, uh, uh, follow shark? <laughs> I don't know if I want to. I think he's genuinely glad that I'm just bringing him out everywhere else. <laughs> okay, back back to first person. Wait, why was I, why was I in third person? Nah, whatever. I don't know. Hey, look, it's still raining. Oh. This way. You know, I'm just thinking about the uh, Mario Kart there, and I. I don't think I've played the last two DLC tracks. You know, like the, the, the last two like sets of tracks that they released. I don't think I ever got around to playing them. I don't know why. I'd have to check. What I don't I don't remember playing them. In fact, I think that's a Daisy track on the Wii is in one of them. Oh, Mantis! Bam! Obliterated. <laughs> Let's see any goodies? Any ice lollies in here? No. Damn. Can't even have a nice. Oh. Can't even have a nice, cold, refreshing snack. What was that? Was it more? <gasps> more rats. <laughs> uh, do, 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 do. Oh. The desk is locked. That bug looks like me for real. <laughs> He's just like me for real. <laughs> He's just like me for real. Uh, lives. Damn it. Uh, cross. Damn it. <laughs> Uh, all right, no. Loads. Damn it. <laughs> well, and I can get this. I just get some duds out of the way. And hopefully some retries back. Hopefully. Game, you gonna... You gonna give me my retries back? You gotta... You, you gotta... Oh, there's only one word left anyway. <laughs> Fried. <laughs> oh. Shipping error. Hi, Mandy. This is Horace Apple Applebaum. Out at the Zion General Store. I placed an order three weeks ago for the... Deluxe, Delu, Delu, I'm going to say Deluxe, 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 Mountain Man All-in-One Survival Kits. You know, the ones that come with a compass, a pair of walkie-talkies, and a full first aid kit. Hey, that's the stuff I'm looking for. <laughs> I'm writing to you because as of today, uh, 06, 15, 2057, I still haven't received the shipment. I'm fresh out of, out of the kits here, and with the summer tourist season picking up, I really need new ones ASAP. Thanks. Oh, I got an idea for a champ reward. Xenoblade facts because you're a fanboy of those games. I know I really like those games a lot, but there's people who know way more than I do. <laughs> just, like, just saying. <laughs> like, I can't think of a lot of those stuff at, like, at the top of my mind. So, I don't know. Uh, dear Scoutmaster Mitchum, thanks for following up. You'll be happy to know that the little scout lunch boxes you ordered have arrived. You can pick them up from the general store when you arrive in Zion. The general store is open Monday through Saturday, 7 a.m. till nightfall. We look forward to seeing you and your scouts on Independence Day. Wonder if that happened. Shipping problems again. Mandy, who the hell is running this shipping company? I've just received three crates of Dinky the Dinosaur TM, officially li licensed Dino Action Dolls. These things were supposed to go to the tourist trap in Nevada. 
How the hell did they get there? Or get here? Mandy, what the hell can I do with this stuff? Maybe if we file off the dinky trademarking, we can turn them around as kitty souvenirs and make a few bucks. But I'm still looking at a major loss here. Whatever's going on in your shipping department, uh, take care of it, or I'll find somebody else to handle my orders. I swear to God. Yours, Horace. P.S. I still haven't received the, that order of the survival gear I requested last month. You know, the things I can actually sell to people. <laughs> huh. Well, so at least we know what the stuff we're, uh, we're gathering is part of a survival kit. Still waiting for Chug the Bottle for 100k. <laughs> <laughs> Chug the bottle. <laughs> Hundred K drink the whole glass. <laughs> uh I don't think there's anything else in here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you said it. <laughs> Save it up. Oh that's a big ass gecko. He's a floating big ass gecko. Is this Gex? Oh my god, how are you missing that much? He's like right there. Could use some help here. Oof. Oof. <laughs> also, you know, I've been seeing a lot online. Well, not a lot, but most of just very recently. Um of uh like rumors apparently going around of Half-Life 3 again. <laughs> I said rumors, but apparently something popped up on a website to do with a voice actor. Oh, oh, I need to get the freaking lunch boxes. Yeah, by something called Project what was it called? Project White Sands. Which apparently is somewhere in New Mexico, I think. Where Black Mesa took place, so mm, where Black Me yeah, where Black Mesa is usually around. <laughs> usually, takes trips. <laughs> snow globe. You find a limited edition Mojave landmark snow globe. These rare pre-war artifacts are widely considered to be useless uh, baubles, but rumor has that some collectors will pay dearly for them. The snow globe has been added to the collection at the Lucky Thirty Eight. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, Half-Life 3 stuff going about again. Do you think we'll act, we're will actually going to get one? Do you think we're actually going to get Half-Life 3? Do you think it's time? After Half-Life Alex that happened? Oh, didn't see this up here. Still haven't played Half-Life Alex. Never. Hmm. <laughs> It'll always be a myth. If he said, will, it will happen. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> don't don't believe me now. Hey, also, speaking of uh, the VR real quick. Uh, recently, I actually ordered... Like, I ordered a uh, cable to connect it to my PC. To finally do, like, PC VR stuff. Just to see if I can... I don't know if my PC could actually do proper, like, VR stuff, but I tried a couple of things. Like Half-Life 2 in VR, and a little bit of No Man's Sky in VR. Oh, you going, Gwen? You leaving? You getting some neat? Where are these lunchboxes? <laughs> I'll see you later then. Thank you for popping right. And enjoy your food. <laughs> Hopefully it's tasty stuff. I'm sure you can handle the DLC without me. I'll try. <laughs> if you if you see several any. several messages on the Discord, uh, Discord DMs, then I probably had some trouble. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Right, where are these lunchboxes? <laughs> oh, 
What do you mean try? No, just try. Why, do you not believe in me? <laughs> but uh, anyway, I'll have to... I'll have to do a bit more with the VR on my PC. Where, where are these lunchboxes? Oh, it's pointing them. Ah. I didn't realize it was actually pointing on the on the compass. Ah, I see. The, the lunchbox here. The, I had a bit of a weird experience setting up the 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 VR. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Um because obviously, obviously I'm, I'm hooking up my Quest 2 to my PC, right? And I have to use the the right, like, application for it, for it to actually properly work. To pro properly connect to my PC. But, uh, the one problem I came across with was, it recommends you connect, you plug it into a USB 3.0 uh, port, right? Which I have two of on my PC. It didn't connect with one of them, and the other one, it did connect, but anytime I tried to go into VR on my PC, my vision would freeze, which was really weird. I was like, huh, that's bizarre, and I have no idea how to fix that. So, just to try, I plugged it into uh, one of the other USB ports that's, like, right beside it, which isn't 3.0, and it worked fine. Like, genuinely. <laughs> it worked fine. There might be 3.0 ports at the back of my PC. I could probably give them a try there, but... Mm. It's just more convenient plugging it into the top of my PC. Sounds like a specific problem Reddit could fix. Uh, well, I try... Well... I don't actually know. I, d I didn't search up this specifically the fact that it was the USB 3.0 port acting up. But honestly, that might be why my mouse is freezing up. No, no, I'm thinking about, thinking about it. Because obviously any, like, first-person game you've seen me... You've seen me play on this. Uh, like, my mouse freezes every now and then. It could be just the port it's plugged into. I haven't actually plugged it into any other port. What am I picking up here again? <laughs> Medical supply kit. Oh, this. Took you a year to fix the mice. More so three. Also, the mice isn't fixed. <laughs> I haven't tried it yet. But it's more so like three or four, because I've had this PC for quite a while. It was actually uh, my cousin, Randall, you know, super hoodie in chat. Uh, he's the one who actually point like helped me pick out the parts for the PC because I, I bought it pre-built so yeah honestly it's a miracle the capture card works because <laughs> because the US the, the, the USB 3.0 port that I plugged the the quest 2 into is the same port that the capture card is plugged into <laughs> and as you've seen on my streams it works fine but for VR specifically, it doesn't doesn't want to work, so it's really weird. Uh, the medical supply kit is mostly intact, but several of the sterile bandages have been broken open, and the disinfectant bottle is leaking. You can try to salvage what's there, or you can find replacements in the contaminate, co contaminated contaminated components. Alternately, you can use alcohol or re-sterilize bandages. Uh, salvage. Salvage, I guess. Yeah, salvage. Feels good to be doing some actual scouting. I'm just following. That's neato, yeah. Cause I I know nothing about PCs. In all honesty. Oh, wait, did I level up? <gasps> I leveled up! Hey, level 30. But yeah, I know nothing about PCs. And my my dad actually brought up the idea of like why don't we like you know, ask Randall? Like, he, he's probably, like, a PC guy. I was like, you know what? I didn't think of that. So, my, my dad actually mentioned him, and, you know, he asked, like, what budget and all, and all that, so... 
But uh, yeah, he, he picked it out for me. And it's been working well since, honestly. Because it's way better than what I had before, which was, uh, which was a laptop that would blue screen every time I played a game. Unless it was specifically Sonic Adventure 2 or Final Fantasy 7. I'm not joking, by the way. <laughs> it, it, it would blue screen with every game I played, except those two. Fallout 3 might have been alright. I can't remember. But, yeah. <laughs> it was really weird. But, uh... What? Yeah. <laughs> it seemed to work fine with old games. Or at least the old games I tried. Which was Final Fantasy 7. Or... Sonic Adventure 2. <laughs> Here, let's get locked back, back up to 100. Uh, but, yeah. It was really, really weird. Man, the laptop hates games unless it was Sonic or FF. Yeah. I don't know what caused it. That's the weird thing. I don't know what kept causing the blue screen. And I tried searching up the error code, but I, I couldn't really get anywhere with it. So I just never played PC games for the longest time. Which was annoying. Because I wanted to play PC games. Uh, what should I put up? Should I put up? I should probably put up bartering a little bit, shouldn't I? <laughs> the world will never know. <laughs> it will, the world will never know. I can't remember what the error code was. Hmm. No fun fact, uh, about that PC, the that last laptop of mine, I used it to mod Smash for Wii U with that laptop. <laughs> I actually did. Yeah, I can probably use uh, energy weapons up a little bit. No. <laughs> medicine. Yeah, medicine. Unless... No, put up survival a little bit. Why not? Oh, and because we're level 30, we get perks. Uh, anything new? No. Nothing new. Okay. Uh, what can I get then? You have a higher chance of sc to score a critical hit on an opponent in combat, equivalent to five extra points of luck. I mean, that's that sounds quite handy. I think. Mm, I don't know about robotics expert. Well, maybe I don't know. I don't know what any of these DLCs entail. So, no idea. Uh, let's just select a fourth skill as a tag skill, which instantly raises it by 15 points. I wonder if I should get that. That sounds quite handy. Um, no, not an eye for an eye. <laughs> Actually, let much less damage to companions, allowing you to liberally, s liberally sp uh, spray an area with reckless. Now, the lesson has taught you s some hard lessons, but you remember them all. You gain plus one percent for extra, for er to earned experience per level gained. So it would be plus thirty <laughs> percent. I don't know anything fa any Fallout stuff, so I'm just watching funny Vault Boy two things. Yeah, in in Fallout four. Uh, the perk screen's a lot different, but if you if you decide to get any of the perks, you get like a little animated Vault Boy doing things <laughs> for each perk. So like, I don't know for like this one for example, if it was in Fallout Four, which might be, um, the, you'll see the Vault Boy like tinker away at the robot, complete with sound effects. <laughs> You discovered a shotgun technique that has a chance to knock an enemy back. That sounds useful. Don't know by quick draw. I don't really need quick draw. Allows you to see health and damage threshold of any target. Also gives you plus 5% bonus to, to damage against humans and non-feral ghouls. Hmm. While using a rifle or a similar two-handed weapon, 
your accuracy in VATS is significantly increased. You know what? Let me get that. Because I do use some two handed weapons. Yeah, you're right. Oh. Okay. I made a small list of what games to get currently. Oh. Oh, the achievement for level 30. <laughs> the boss. Oh, yeah. J just when I leveled up here. What am I called now? Messiah. I am the Messiah. <laughs> Apparently. So you've got a list now. Mm, is it a big list? Yeah, how, how much? How many games are on that list? Oh, oh, it's a giant one. I'll heal the Messiah. Oh, it's got it's got a brother, sister. Uh, I don't know. They're all hairy. Okay, I can't target. Oh, maybe the other one's sad. Maybe that's why. Oh. Right now on the list, it's six. Only six. So what are you, what are you eyeing up then? What games are interesting you? More bang for your buck. Because obviously getting any collections would, would be like a good start because that, that means you get like a load of games. I can open this. Like the DMC HD collection. Ooh, good choice. You got a couple of good games and DMC 2. Uh, <laughs> if you do play a DMC 2, tell me what you think about it. Because I'm going to protect you, you're not going to like it. Because <laughs> DMC2 is not a good game. Ugh. The Uncharted Collection is also pretty good. Uncharted games are pretty fun. I enjoy them. She got around to Uncharted 2 eventually on stream. Because I played Uncharted 1 like last year. And I never got around to another one. And so I've heard about it, yeah. See, I had only heard about 2 until I got around to, to playing it. I played the Switch version. And yeah, it's it's rough. God of War 2018. Ooh, I haven't played that one yet. I want to get through the old God of War games. God of War 1, 2, and 3. Which, by the way, God of War 3 is on PS4. I think. Oh, yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, I have a physical copy of that game. Yeah, they did like a remaster on PS4 for God of War 3, so... You can get that too if you want. <laughs> They never did re-release God of War 1 and 2, I don't think. Which is weird. I wonder why. What am I doing in this quest? <laughs> Brings the place you've got to die. Oh yeah, to Daniel. Batman City plus Asylum Collection. Ooh, nice. You're gonna play a man... <laughs> man... <laughs> Ham... Ham City and Ham Asloom. Hell yeah, you're gonna kick the jungler right in the face. The bitter plants and the green monster men aren't native to Zion. Wonder where they came from. Hmm. Resident Evil 5. I suppose that was kind of obvious, yeah. FF7 remake. That was also kind of obvious. <laughs> Your senses are already heightened by this Grand Vista. Ooh. Grand Vista, apparently. <laughs> and a physical copy of Hades. Fair enough. I think uh, Vampire Survivors is coming out soon on PS4. That's a fun game. It's it's not super dear. It's like three pound, I think. Something like that. It's like a really cheap game. It's very simple too, but a lot of fun. If you like to see things happen. <laughs> if you like bullet hells, but you become the bullet hell. Like, I have it on Switch. It's fun. Actually, all the games I'm getting is physical. Oh! Yes, yeah, so you like physical media? Yeah, I, I'm sort of in between both digital and physical. Um, I do quite like physical, though. It's just, it's just storing it is my problem. Uh, 
But uh, I, I should really try and get physical games a lot more often. Wait, I was already here. <laughs> Damn it! I'll go around. But uh, bullet hells, yeah. Only for vampire survivors, you're the one doing the bullets. <laughs> you are the bullet hell compared to regular bullet hells where you have to dodge the bullets. No, you're just you're just killing like armies of enemies. Like literal like hundreds of thousands. I think you can get it on like smartphones for free. With ads, but for free anyway. Whoa, look at that big guy! Oh, he's a big green boy. He's a big green boy. Uh, if, you, if you want, like, indie game recommendations. I think I've mentioned this before, but CrossCode is pretty good. It's it's like a it's a real time RPG, like with, with real time combat, pretty fun. But it has like dungeons very similar to like a like a Zelda game, you know. So that's pretty good. In fact, that the the game studio that made CrossCode actually recently announced the name of their next game and showed a trailer for it. Wow, you really can't aim, huh? Where are you running to? Bro's more happy than anyone on the street I've seen. <laughs> I know, right? This is so happy looking. You're a happy little dude. Where are you going? It do work though. It do be working. That funny smelling medicine. What other weapons do I have? Hmm? What is shooting? I keep hearing the shooting every now and then. Nope. Oh. Is he a little on fire? Don't know how you can be on fire while also floating in water. Especially when the fire is underneath you. But sure. Whatever. Funny enough, my, my grandma and grandpa are coming over and they usually just look at what I'm playing. Oh. <laughs> Do they ever ask about like what you're playing? Like, are they curious enough or... They just watch you. Hmm? What, are you, what are you shooting at? What are, you shoot, what are you shooting at? Oh. My grandma definitely likes games where it has action like Batman while my... Wait. Oh, and who, who likes what? Because you put grandmother twice. So it sounds like it sounds like your grandma likes both violence and also do, doesn't like violence. <laughs> oh. Hello. Okay. <laughs> Good. Good to you too. So wait, which one was your grandpa then? I assume your grandpa was the one that uh, is the one that likes games that have action in them. My grandpa likes violence. Okay, I thought that. Usually is. <laughs> Usually is the grandpa's. <laughs> you know, I'm not gonna lie. Every anytime my dad sees me play any games, it's usually the games that don't have a lot of action to them. Like, I was playing... When I, whenever I was away, I was playing uh, Chance of Sonar, which I think Cass recommended. Um, a very, very good puzzle game, actually. I quite liked it. But he was watching me the play it. Up ahead. Oh. That's the Sorrows territory. They're peaceful enough, but you don't want to make them mad. Hmm, okay. 
But like, usually when he sees me play games, I don't have a lot of action to him. He's, he's just like, why do you play that crap? I was like, well, I didn't ask for your opinion, did I? <laughs> it's like, fine, I, like, I like it. Should not be enough. <laughs> so you're not the one playing the game. <laughs> Usually watches a, a lot of action movies as a kid, so it, so him seeing me beat up a poor NPC in, in a pulp is exciting to him. And yeah, you, oh. You are the one Joshua Graham sent to us. Yes. Blessings of the Father in the cave on you. Aye, to you too. Daniel is waiting for you. <laughs> I like your bear glove. Where can I get one? A sorrow's Yalgwai fist is a sacred symbol. It shows that we belong to the tribe and have willingly undertaken a dangerous quest to aid the tribe. Each sorrow makes his own, and only after hunting and slaying a Yao Gwai that threatened our people, our shaman, White Bird, oversees the rites. Perhaps if you spoke to him, he would allow you to undertake such a quest. Oh, I'm all about taking quests. Uh, what's your deal? Waking Cloud is my name. I am midwife to the sorrows. It sounds ill omen, no? Midwife to sorrows. <laughs> Midwife? I haven't seen any children around. The children and the old have already been evacuated from the camp. They are safe enough, unless the white legs come for us in force. <laughs> she actually does kind of look like a sunflower from Plants vs. Zombie. <laughs> uh, what do you do when you're not delivering babies? I tend to other hurts and sicknesses that afflict our tribe. I also scout the valley for the herbs I use in my medicines. Okay. What would you speak of? Also, hold on. I got reminded of a, of a line from uh, Xenoblade Chronicles. Hold on. You gotta hear this. <laughs> you, you gotta hear this. Hold on. It's such a random out of context line. <laughs> right on. I'll let you hear it. Uh, where is it? Okay, here. What about baby? Oh, that one. That's very loud. Hold on. <laughs> Sorry. Right, I'll put it back. What about babies? You guys got any babies? <laughs> that's it. That was probably still quite loud. Sorry, but <laughs> yeah, asking if you got any babies. <laughs> Freaking uni. <laughs> but it was gonna be, it was gonna be good when Core gives gives the most random audio clip. Yeah, that's the that's the that's the line, in like a side quest I think. <laughs> babies, you guys got any babies? <laughs> uh, give me some info on this Daniel. Who is he? Daniel is a wise man and a great friend to the sorrows. He taught me to speak the language of New Canaan, the English from the holy books. I don't think I want to know the context. Oh, trust me, there's an even better scene. <laughs> funny enough, to do with babies. <laughs> it's actually really funny. But I, I could provide a bit of context for it. So, actually, wait, I'll wait till after. Uh, after I talk to her. Uh, holy books? Yes. The language of the New Canaanites is the holy tongue for it is the language their sacred books are written in. The father in the caves brought it to them after the judgment, but the ancestors of the sorrows sinned against him. They were denied the true tongue. Have you known him long? Six years. He attended the birth of my third child. It was a hard birth. The river nearly carried my water to the father and my child's with it. Daniel knew the ways of New Canaan's medicine, he stepped in and saved both of our lives. After the birth, I asked Daniel if he would teach me what he knew of childbirth. He agreed, and so here I am. Hmm. Uh, tell me more about your tribe. I'll answer we your question in a bit. Since the uh, cool banana. Came in fire. When the father in the caves punished the world and made us forget the holy tongue. We have had good relations with the other tribes in the valley. At least before Salt Upon Wounds brought his white legs here. 
We have Daniel to thank for our continued existence. His advice and help has kept the White Legs from overrunning us so far. I do not know how long even he can protect us, though. Hmm. What do you know about salt upon wounds? He is war chief of the White Legs. Okay. The worst butcher of them all. Ooh. The tribes he has crushed are many. The warriors he has slain, countless. Okay. Uh, who or what is the father in the cave? Have you not heard of the god of the new Canaanites? Nope. He is our protector and our judge. He helped our ancestors find their place here in Zion. He gave us many gifts, but we are not to seek him out. His caves are forbidden to us. Those who seek them out are taken from us. That doesn't sound like what I've heard about the new Canaanites. Canaanites, sorry. <laughs> Perhaps you do not fully understand the new Canaanites. I have seen the father's images. His holy bride and holy son were given unto the world to save it. They dwelt in the caverns of the mountains, caverns which can still be seen today. The people sinned against him and were punished with the end that came in fire and the loss of the holy tongue. Only the new Canaanites were spared. I see. That's fascinating. I'm sure Daniel could tell you more. Probably His could. His knowledge of the father is greater than my own. Okay, that's all. Then I will look forward to our next speaking. If I do play DMC2, it will be my first ever bad game that I've played. Yeah, it's not great. Uh, actually, you know what's f what I find f so funny about DMC2? Is that there are people who have only played DMC2? Like, like when they, when they were growing up. You know, they just played DMC2 as one of their PS2 games. And they're like, oh, it's like my favorite game, you know? You know, it's great. I had a lot of fun uh, growing up playing DMC2. But then they played other De Devil May Cry games, like, later on in life. You know, like, apparently, I, I, a lot of... I've seen a lot of, like, people on YouTube do this. Um, but then once they play the other Devil May Cry games, they've now realized how crap the DMC2 is. <laughs> they realize how bad it actually is. Because usually if you ask someone who's only played DMC2, they're like, oh, it's not that bad. I had fun with it. You know? Pretty good. But it, once they once they play the rest of the series, it's like, oh no, it's actually that bad. <laughs> it's actually as bad as I mentioned. Like, uh, my brother actually played DMC2 last year, I think, for the first time. And what, what he said to me is like, I played DMC2. And all I said was, it's bad, isn't it? And he's like, oh, it's so bad. <laughs> it's like, see? It is bad. The reboot is better. Like, the reboot's not that bad. I couldn't give a crap about Dante in that game. Because he's, he's, he's too different from regular Dante. I don't like what they did with him. Especially Virgil. Ugh, don't like what they did with Virgil. Mm -hmm. Those are going to be loads better than signal drums and smoke sounds. Yeah. <laughs> they would be ten times better. Oof. The reboot gameplay wise is very good. It is. I even like the platforming better in the reboot than the rest of the DMC series. You know, I I, I find the platforming in the reboot very fun. Also, hi, hi, uh, Kiba or Kaiba. <laughs> hey, Spideys! Oh, how you been? I, how is everyone? <laughs> I am the storm that is a fruit. Have you seen the amount of views that song has on YouTube? The dead horse has told me details about the attack on your caravan. A stranger's sympathy might not count for much, but for what it's worth, I'm sorry. The sorrows will mourn your friends too. They mourn everyone, even the white legs. They have Even the White Legs? Souls. Innocent, if there is such a thing. In spite of what's happened, I hope that Joshua and I can help you out of here. But to be frank, we need your help too. Okay. Well, anyway, hope before I get to that. Um, <laughs> but yeah, like, have, has anyone actually seen the amount of views uh, Bury the Light has on YouTube? Because, uh, like, uh, it ha like in half the time, it has gotten more views than Megalovania. 
Like, they're both over 100 million views. But I think Bury the Light has, like, a, I can't remember how much, but it has more than Megalovania. All right, the reboot of DMC. How good is that one? It's actually pretty fun. You know? Like, I, if you're curious enough about it, I'd, rec like, play away at it. You know, like, it's it's not a bad game. You might not like Dante in it, or the characters, but the game itself is actually pretty fun, you know. Muscle memory will will be annoying, though. <laughs> if, you, if you played the other games beforehand, muscle memory will will mess you up a little bit <laughs> with some with some attacks. Because <laughs> they changed the controls a little bit. But, uh, is this Lonesome Road? Uh, oh, what was this? Well, what, what did you call this one again? Hold up, wait. <laughs> to the Discord DMs. What did Gwen say this one's called? Honest Arts. That's what that's what this one is. I forgot, I forgot the name. <laughs> uh, Joshua to told me you needed a few things. I think this is everything. Oh yeah, by the way, for those who don't know, I, I finished the game on Tuesday stream. Like, I, I did the, the final main quest. And if you're curious what, I, what, what ending I decided to go for, uh... Yes, man. <laughs> What's my choice? I went with yes, man. Uh, yeah, Joshua told me you needed a few things. I think this is everything. Well, I'll be. I was starting to lose hope we'd be able to get any of this, much less all of it. Tribals are smart, but, well, they're ignorant. <sighs> Letting go of a taboo is difficult for them. So I knew it would have to be one of us. Turns out all it took was a Gentile. Or, uh, no offense. These supplies mm -hmm. are a godsend. But if we're going to evacuate Zion without drawing more white leg attention, I need you to go back into the valley. Specifically, I need you to scout out some locations for white legs and try to recover a map of Grand Staircase, a wilderness area to the east. There's also the matter of the roads. We're going to be heading out of the east side of the park, but I'm not sure the way is clear. Hey, another achievement. I'm sure the quest thing was supposed to appear here, but... <laughs> uh, anything to help? I, I can... I'll, uh, 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 anything to help? I'll do what I can. I appreciate the enthusiasm. There aren't a lot of people in the wasteland with kindness to spare for anyone who isn't kin. Since you've been poking around the valley, you might see more activity from the White Legs. One of the yeah, I've, I've seen them a lot. Cloud ...has volunteered to help guide you through the valley. She has a special talent for... Staying out of sight. After this, it's just a matter of getting everyone out of here safe and sound. And hopefully, you can head back to the Mojave without any more trouble. Ooh. Daniel has, has given you some pre-war mining explosives and a special detonator for them. They aren't useful as weapons, but could be used to collapse certain caves that proves necessary in your exploration. Ooh. Well, oh. here we part ways. Oh, you gotta go, Night Cold Banana. I'll see you later. I'll see you there sometime. See you in the next stream. Uh, my gosh, Joshua. Typical. Just when I get a useful minion. Jeez. Uh, are you sure you've been a useful companion so far? Sorry, Joshua was pretty clear. Get you to Daniel, then come on home. You can take it up with him if you'd like. I'll give my regards to Joshua then. I will. Good going, Akis. I, I right back at you. I don't know what he said. <laughs> right. So let me see. What what all did I get here? I'm sure you can as tribal tattoos similar to that IRL. At least that's how I imagine it. You've got quite the imagination. That's for sure. Uh, <laughs> no, I don't have a I don't have a single tattoo on me. Not not I, I'm actually not really a massive fan of tattoos. Well, t for myself, I don't care if anyone else has them. Though saying that, the Yakuza games have have made me a bit of a fan of like the back tattoos, because I always like to look at the back tattoos in in those games. You know, some of the really cool designed ones. I should really get Ryan to play more of those games. 
I think I think the last one I played was Yakuza 3? I think. I need to get right into Yakuza 4 then. Ugh, so many Yakuza games. And they keep freaking releasing more of them. <laughs> uh, find the map to the Grand Staircase region. Optional speak to Waking Clyde by taking her as a guide. Sure. <laughs> Where's Waking Clyde? Waking Clyde. Mm hmm. I could do the companion since my last one decided to desert me because he was told to. Hmm. Mm, plenty of gears. <laughs> Crossroad Cavern. My god, so much. Oh, was she. Was she down here? Is that where this is pointing me? Guessing. I think mean, fast travel is currently unavailable from this location. Alright then. Fine. Alex, I'll just explore some caves then. Oh, it's also pretty cozy. Probably very cold though, I'd say. Hmm. Hello. Hola, outsider. Welcome, child of omens. You come to receive visions of truth? Uh, what? I don't know what visions of truth means. Take drugs, kill a bear, seek medicine plant, what? return with sacred datura root, receive visions of truth, they guide you. <laughs> he sounds like he knows how to party. <laughs> this is quite the party animal here. Wait a minute, what if I don't want to do any of that? Okay, then I guess I'll just go then. Go. Return, maybe yes. Return, maybe no. But go. Yes, sir, white bird. Sir. Okay. I guess I'll seek out these visions. <laughs> oh. Ah, uh, thunderstorm. It's nice to have rain, though. I don't know, just, it's nice to have that's not just <laughs> the dry wasteland anymore. There's actual weather. Even if it is just rain. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> Did I do that? <laughs> I'm pulling a Benny on them. <laughs> this fight was already rigged from the start. <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> oh. Nearly missed the damn bridge. Uh, is there a way over there from here? Oh, okay. I'm just gonna have a little look around. See the locals. Take in the sights. See if there's any nifty things I can take. <laughs> Perhaps. <laughs> Who knows? <gasps> you, sir! Let me talk to you. Lie to yourself. <laughs> no, I just don't have no idea what he's saying. Uh. Hmm. Can I, s can I sleep here? I, wait, how's my limbs? Oh, they're pretty healthy looking limbs, not gonna lie. I'm a healthy, I'm a healthy boy. <laughs> oh, I go that way. Katubiu, Nayu. Oh yes, oh yeah, yeah we got the top hat. <laughs> yeah, I I got it out of the the White Glove Society. I forget the name of the casino, but yeah. I dealt with their little uh, cannibal problem. And I stole the guy's hat. 
What was his name again? Mortimer? Yeah, Mortimer. Yeah, took his hat. Took his outfit. Don't have it on me, though. Uh, <laughs> as you can see, I'm, I'm power armor, though. <laughs> yeah, I think it suits me quite well. <laughs> In fact, for a while there, uh... Where is it? I had the rebreather equipped, so I've got this look. But this thing gives me a chin, and I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> you know, I mean, I'm, I'm supposed to be the chinless wonder here. You know, weakest chin in the West. Very Batman Bean vibes. It kind of is. Yeah, it is a bit like Bean. <laughs> Oh, I forget the, the lines he says in the movie. I haven't seen that movie in years. At least it was... I think it was that movie. I can't remember which Dark Knight movie I, I, I saw when I think about it. I think the Joker was not it. <laughs> yeah, it was something like that. I was bored of the darkness. Bolded by it. I think it was about bolded by it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, something like that. <laughs> I remember, uh, I remember when my, I, I watched one of the, one of the Dark Neck. Wait, what are these? Oh, they're geckos. Oh, they just look a little different. <laughs> well, anyway, um, I remember I watched one of the, the Dark Knight movies with my dad. And, uh, he saw the, I'm assuming it's just called the Bat Bike. <laughs> but the motorcycle that Batman uses. And the fact that it went sideways. <laughs> It started, like, the move sideways. <laughs> he was like, that's awful. That's a terrible bike. Because, <laughs> you see, my, my dad's actually a big motorbike person. <laughs> he likes his motorbikes. And once he saw that, he was like, no, what, what, what is going on here? <laughs> he, just, he hates it. And he hates it every time I bring it up, too. Daniel said that I Hi. Will travel with you until you have completed your scouting. Is this pleasing to you? Yes, I think it is pleasing to me. Let's go. Certainly. We should make haste then. Waking Clyde has given you the quiet as the waters perk. While Waking Clyde is in your party, it is much easier to sneak by the white legs. Their perception is decreased. Nifty. Who says I'm going to be sneaking though? <laughs> sneaking? Do you know who you're talking to? There's a jonkler spuds. And we don't do sneaking. Unless I happen to be crouching and no one sees me with my sniper rifle. Then we're sneaking, but... Nine times out of ten, we're just guns blazing. Oh yeah, you got that. You got that fancy glove. Damn. One shot of that mole rat. Get him! Get him! <laughs> Damn, when can I get one of those? Hmm? Oh, it's blocked. Do. Oh. Why is it blocked? Oh. Trail mix? Is that food? It is food. Gives me AP. Mmm. <laughs> I'ma take that. And maybe remember to use it. Depends how how I'm feeling that uh get That damn that is some reach you've got <laughs> Bring out that extra long hitbox. <laughs> If you're in a if you were in a fighting game, competitive players would hate you <laughs> for having a reach like that. Right, so let's see, let me let me look at my quest. Let me look at my quests here. Deal with the white legs as camp? Absolutely. Steal the white legs as war totems from the encampments. Wipe out the white leg encampments at Bighorn Bluff. 
Absolutely, I will do that. Oh, they're they're actually quite far away. <laughs> and I still can't fast travel. Oh damn, there's, there's, there's some dark skies up there. Oof. Hello. By the rivers of Babylon, there we sat down. Yea, we wept when we remembered Zion. Hi, we Joshua. Or the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem, who said, "Raise it, raise it even to the foundation." O daughter of Babylon, who ought to be destroyed, happy shall he be that rewardeth thee as thou hast served us. Happy shall he be. That taketh and dasheth thy little ones against the stones. Do you know what it means? Thee doth not know what this means. <laughs> what you speaketh means nothing to me. <laughs> uh, you don't want to leave Zion, you'd rather kill every last one of the white legs. Well, I'm guessing you're pretty mad about something. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't quite catch what you were what you were talking about there with all them fancy words, but you sounded a little bit upset. <laughs> uh, we'll say this one like I know what I'm talking about. Uh, you don't want to leave Zion. You'd rather kill every last one of the white legs. Given those two choices, yes. In the best of all possible worlds, they would just leave us in peace, but they won't. I don't enjoy killing. But when done righteously, it's just a chore, like any other. Practiced hands make for short work, and the good Lord knows there's much to be done here. This, guy's, this conversation just got pretty dark. What was that about happy dashing the little ones? Uh, why are you talking to me about it? You'll get no argument from me, these white legs are human garbage. Uh, yeah, this conversation got a little dark. What was that about... Happy dashing the little ones. Happy are those who do the work of the Lord. Zion belongs to God and the people of God. It is a natural temple and monument to his glory. When our Lord entered the temple and found it polluted by money changers and beasts, did he ask them to leave? Did he cry? Did he simply walk away? No. He drove them out. It is one thing to forgive a slap across my cheek, but an insult to the Lord requires... No, it demands correction. I bet, uh, I bet if Gwen was here, he, uh, she would be like, uh, Yeah, I'd slap his cheek, alright, or something like that. <laughs> uh, fair enough, I guess. Okay. I don't know if you figured this out yet, but I don't believe what you believe. Uh, mm, okay. You're not so certain. Fair enough. We all have doubts. Blessed are they that have not seen, and yet have believed. But you can be a Thomas for now. Fight the white legs enough, and you'll see the truth. I just hope that by the time you understand, there will still be time to convince Daniel that we have to fight for Zion, to save it and the sorrow. Also, did you just walk all the way over here? Hmm. Oh, hi. Oh, I forgot you were there. <laughs> oh, wait, I can talk to you now. That's right. Katubiu. Uh, yeah. Uh, do you have any family? I do. A fine husband and three children. I miss them each day, but I take comfort in knowing they are safe. Safe? Where are they? When we learned that Salt Upon Moons had defiled Zion with his presence, Daniel ordered the children, the old, and the sick evacuated from the camp. My husband volunteered to lead the hunters that went with them for protection. Oh. I tried not to worry about them, but we have had no news for so long, and Daniel seems sad when I ask him about it. Sad and a little frightened. Uh oh. Uh, I could talk to him. Maybe he'll open up more to me. Perhaps he will. I sometimes feel he thinks he must protect me. If he has news, I would know of it. Okay. You know what? I will talk to him. 
Then I, I will talk to that son of a gun. Which means we're going back into the camp, baby. Uh, <laughs> I've got a hundred speech. All right, I could, I could, I could use this silver tongue of mine to pry some information. That's a term, right? Silver tongue. Something like that. Oh, he's up there, isn't it? <laughs> wait, hold on, wait, no. I'll, I'll go this way. Still brings me up. I know you are eager to leave Zion, but perhaps you might find peace if you stay. Think about it. Yes? No, I got other DLCs to do once I finish this one. <laughs> Like I got, I got other stuff to do. Is, does this bring, does this bring me up? Just, hey, there he is. Daniel. 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 Hey, Daniel. Hey, Daniel. I'm glad to see you're still with us. How can I help you? <gasps> Tell me about Wake and Clyde's family. What, um, what do you want to know exactly? I'm sure she could tell you much better than I. Oh, you just hesitated a little bit there. Uh, she said one of her births was difficult and you helped her through it. Did you help the rest of her family leave Zion? I did. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, what's the matter? Did something happen? Her three children are safe. They made it north weeks ago and met up with new Canaanites heading east. Her husband didn't make it. Oh. He died protecting their children from a white leg attack. Do not tell Waking Cloud. She is one of the only sorrows who can communicate easily with us, and her tribe needs her to be strong right now. Mr. Husband, do you, don't you think she has the right has a right to know? I don't think you should hide this from her, but I see your point. I won't say anything. Settle down, I'm not telling her squat. Uh hmm. I kinda of going for that first option. Like I feel I feel like she really should know. <laughs> Uh, it's her husband. Don't don't you think she has the right to know? To everything, there is a season. Who are you or I to put this heavy burden on her now? You're the new Canina Canina Canina. I can't even say the word again. Can can Canaanite or whatever uh, who's supposed to help lead these people, not hide things from them. I know you're right. Mm-hmm. I, I know I am. Have hidden it from her in the first place. I just. <laughs> We can't fail here again. Zion can't become the next new Canaan. Cain, Cain, the Canaanite. Don't deserve that. It's a weird word to they say. Don't deserve any of this. Sometimes I look at them and wonder if they would have been better off if those old trails had stayed forgotten. If we had never found any of them. <sighs> Tell Waking Cloud if you think that's best. I won't stop you. I will, eventually. <laughs> I need some medical assistance? I should be able to address most common problems. What's the matter? Uh, medical supplies? I can provide medical assistance. I can even use supplies that we have here. But I can't just sell what we have. I need to address problems as they arise. And most of those have to do with the sorrows or dead horses. Oh, speech. <laughs> Most of the sorrows and dead horses are protected. I might start getting shot up by white legs. Fair enough. Yeah. Just be careful and hopefully you won't need these. Yeah, you're the one getting shot at. Uh <laughs> Damn, it's really nice having a hundred speech. <laughs> Should really focus on that more with Fallout. <laughs> uh give me that. Give me that. Oh my god, you thousand caps. Didn't even realize I had that money. Uh, except. Yeah. Wait. Give me the anti venom, too. Okay. Okay, we're good. Uh, should I tell her now? Because I don't. Hold on. Wait. A quick save. <laughs> then I'll talk to her. As oh. You, I walk in your footsteps. Ooh, there's two options. If 
about your husband, I'm afraid he was killed by white legs during the evacuation. Or I can lie and say Daniel isn't avoiding talking about your family. He's just preoccupied with all of this. What happens if I do tell her? What? No. You must be mistaken. Daniel would have told me. I'm afraid so. Daniel kept it from you because he thought the grief would distract you. How? How dare he? What gives him the right? I thought Daniel was my friend, but he cares nothing for the sorrows. Uh, he was only doing what he thought was best for the tribe. It wasn't an easy choice for him. I agree, it was arrogant and cruel. Not exactly the kind of thing a friend would do. <laughs> okay, uh, you're right. Now what are you going to do? No, I'll, I'll say this top one again, because you can sort of understand why he didn't mention. Perhaps. I will have to have a very long talk with Daniel when all of this is over. Thank you for telling me this truth. Cool. All right. Glad we got that sorted. <laughs> oh, right, I should probably put a quest on again. Uh, I'll put this one on. We'll head out a little bit. Uh, I have a little over time though, so I'll probably just leave the area here and then save my game. But uh, I did not expect tribes people in this DLC at all. Oh. And it looks like this DLC has a decent amount of stuff to it. And it's like, how many? DLCs for this game? Like, what, four or five? Hmm. I got a lot to do. <laughs> we, we have a lot to do, apparently. But I've, uh, as, as I mentioned earlier, uh, Gwen did g give me, like, a Discord message on, like, the order to play these in. Because she knows a lot about this game. I'm a little sad to leave the Narrows. I'm happy to return. Green stopped. Hmm. But anyway, yeah, go ahead, go ahead and give me the, the order of the DLCs because she knows a lot more about this game than I do. So, I'm just like, I'll, I'll, I'll trust what she says. <laughs> but, um, anyway, I think that's me for tonight. Getting tired, honestly. But, uh, yeah, I will be back next week on Tuesday to continue, to continue more of this. Spot all right here? Anyway, yeah, so we'll continue more, more of this next week. Continue whatever we can in this DLC. Exploring, finding more, like, unique places or do the quest and all that stuff. But, uh, yeah, that's what we'll do. That's what we'll do. I miss my dog, though. <laughs> I miss Raul. I wish they were here. Hmm. Shame I can't bring the dog, though. Not even the dog. Monsters. <laughs> anyway, uh, thank you all for coming around. And I will see you next week for more Fallout New Vegas. Alright. See you later, everyone. <laughs> <laughs>